Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. Today I'm going to be playing Roguelike Bingo in Hollow Knight. Those are words that I never thought would go together. So it's a kind of weird concept, but basically you have this giant bingo card that starts off. I can show it in the top right. So it starts off um, with a tile at the top where you begin the bingo card and all the objectives on the bingo card are actually hidden until you get to spaces adjacent to those tiles. So you start at the top, and because we're already on the save file, we can click the start button, and we get a couple different goals. So once we get one of these goals, it'll show the goals adjacent to it underneath it, and the ultimate goal of Roguelike Bingo is to reach all the way <laughs> to the bottom. And a few of them aren't even showing because of how I have this cropped. But the goal of Roguelike Bingo is to just reach the bottommost square. And you can see some of them are, some of them go all the way across, these red ones. So you don't have any choice but to get those goals. Otherwise, you can kind of like go left or right to pick what goals you can actually do. So sometimes if you have a really bad goal, you might need to actually navigate around it and see what else you can get. So it's a really cool concept. And of course, because I'm stupid, <laughs> I decided I'm also going to use randomizer on top of it. So we might need to avoid and swerve past some of the goals that involve collecting specific things because with randomizer you can't really target those goals and we have to hope we don't get unlock unlucky with the red goals too because that's going to be really annoying if we get something uh really specific because some of them some of the goals in bingo are like collect this charm for example and that could be very time consuming potentially <laughs> so and hey everyone how's it going hope you all are doing well today i am ready to have some fun with this hey lady kadala colt yurchenko raichi thanks so much for becoming a god gamer welcome to the god gamer academy really really appreciate the support thank you so much and hey, Lisa, hey, Matilda, hey, Marcus, Emily, Litton. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, this was actually, so the international Hollow Knight community, um, at first we had our own bingo system, I think, and then we eventually m m made like bingo cards on bingosync.com. And then the Japanese Hollow Knight community, which honestly I know absolutely nothing about, uh, created this concept. So it's really cool to see that, you know, different Hollow Knight communities from different places are, you know, creating their own interpretations of these things. Thanks so much, Krakenist. And welcome to the God Camera Academy. Hey, Brianna. Good morning. Yeah, uh, really awesome stuff. So I'm just going to get started right away. My controller works. I actually tested it today before the stream started. <laughs> so that is good. But yeah, we have a randomized start location. Um, in terms of like for the randomizer, it's everything but uh, Grimkin essences, if that's what they're called. So everything is randomized but that. So I don't have to put on Grimchild. <laughs> I made sure of that. And I think it's like experienced skips. So some skips are required, but nothing too wild. Working controller pog. Yeah, the God Gamer skin is awesome. I actually need to add in my description that Kadala made it because I do plan on using this most of the time. Shoutouts to Kadala. 
Hey, Cinders. Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice morning. And I, I pinned the message in the chat, um, but I, I don't know if anyone's aware, but I've just been making these goofy ass YouTube polls. It started off with um, who would win a fight or something. And then I kind of just like stopped following up on that. <laughs> like we, I made a tournament for it, like a challenge bracket. And we finished the bracket, and then I just didn't even, like, make an announcement of who won. I think it was, like, Zote at 1% of his true power. If I recall correctly. And now we are doing um, the best place to live in Hollow Nest. And every single... Why, are, why am I getting all these grubs? And every single um, poll so far has been extremely one-sided. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, I have skill upgrades and transcendence. So transcendence is the extra charms. I do not have lore master because that adds like a lot. But lore master actually, um, that got fully released for randomizer. So it's, um, I, I don't know what was missing before, but the mod maker says that it's fully integrated now. I don't know, it seems pretty useful, if you ask me. Okay. Uh, so there's not really anything important here other than Distant Village Stag. Wait, how much was that? 250. Okay. It's morning where you are? Yeah, I'm in central time zone. Almost midnight, gosh. Oh, oops. Woke up like four hours ago. I woke up one hour ago. Actually, I actually had trouble sleeping last night. Because I exercised like right before I, uh... Thanks so much, Noah. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. I exercised like right before I went to sleep. <laughs> okay, simple key. That could be important at 14. Great slash shockwave. Oh, I can get that. Swim for 22. Okay, so I need 14 and 22. Now I just need to get Great Slash. <laughs> How are the God Gamer kittens? Uh, they're doing pretty well. I've been posting pictures of them sometimes on Instagram. Just so people can see them every once in a while. Uh, they're at my mom's place, so I only get to see them, like, once a week or so. They were, like, really nervous going... Oh, I need... I needed that. Oops. I gotta respawn the Vengefly. They were really nervous going to my mom's place because they, like... Uh, they've been outside a few times in their lives. So they just, like... I had to bring them over because my mom has knee problems. And, uh... They were just shrieking, basically. <laughs> Poor cats. Just get so scared when you bring them outside. Uh, I'm not going to do Moloch yet. Hey, Miles. <laughs> All good, Colt. I had my coffee. Porter is trying to sell me a map. Oh, hey, Krakenist. I'm glad you could join. Can't have them at your place. Um, well, they're my mom's cats. She, like, uh, offered to leave them with me, but as much as I love the cats, I don't really want cats. <laughs> at least not right now. Or floof balls. <laughs> they are very floofy. But they have been losing a little bit of weight. 
We still have like a long way to go though. I think maybe eventually, but like once things have settled down for me like a lot more, I still have like a lot of work to do around the house and things to figure out. Being a house owner has like a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything yet. Don't think you could live without Jessamine. Understandable. There's so many. Oh, Lem Strength. Okay. <laughs> that is a very good find. So the Charm Notch costs for charms, for charms, are randomized. So, uh, Lem Strength is an added charm that you can get with Transcendence mod. And it increases your nail damage by one for every relic that you hold. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of powerful if you get enough charms or relics rather. Wait, I haven't even looked at the goals. <laughs> I explained it at the beginning and I haven't even looked at them. I'm just like going around collecting items <laughs> and talking to chat. Yeah, Lem Strength for two is... I think they increased the cost of it to like four, didn't they? Because originally it was two or three, and then it got nerfed. Unless I'm thinking of something else. So half price, <laughs> not bad. Okay. Have three different maps, not counting Dirtmouth or Hive. Oh, that's... I should have got the map at Cornifer. <laughs> so the thing is, I don't necessarily have to choose just one goal to get, because it might be advantageous to get more than one to see what the next goals are. So if I got have three different maps, and if I got defeat Markov, then I'm showing all five goals on the next row. So that'll give me a lot more information to like get the fastest goal possible in the next row. The recent items is blocking. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. I can turn that off actually because it's not totally necessary. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, Cursed Spirit. Yeah, I like how there's all, there's just always new ways to play Hollow Knight. Like, there's always new stuff. And then if you add in, like, the speedrunning community just doing crazy shit all the time, it's awesome. Although that said, I finally got things set up or am about to get things set up for the next God Gamers video, and it's gonna be for a different game. So that is, that is exciting. Lantern for 50, okay. <laughs> I will take that. Oh, I should turn on some of these quality of life uh, features because I turned them off for this speed speedrunning thing. Faster loads, fast menus, fast tech. Just let's just turn everything on. Hopefully it works. I don't know what's been wrong with quality of life. It said it was off when I just checked it in the menu. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice discount. Should I buy Hollow Knight on Steam so you can play mods? Yes. Like, you can wait for it to go on sale. It does go on sale pretty often.
lantern opens this up. So for those who don't know, you actually need lantern to use that toll. Because if the room is dark, you cannot interact with the toll. And that didn't always used to be the case, right? Like you... What was it the case before? Oh wait, or was there no toll there before? God, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm like trying to flex my boomer knowledge and failing. <laughs> wait, was that fragile strength for zero? Oh shit, nice. Okay, I'm gonna have a crazy nail build. <laughs> but yeah, spend 3000 Geo is gonna take a while. Defeat Markoth, that one's also gonna take forever. But I can hopefully get three maps if I get lucky with the rando. Oh, if I. Can I, like, hit this pickaxe to pogo up there? Come on. No, that's not going to happen. No way. Okay, I give up. <laughs> oh, that's heart. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Wishful thinking. God damn it. <laughs> this is three. Oh, no. Yeah, that was very much wishful thinking. Uh, okay, let's get this egg. And we can go through the uh, dark room because we have lantern. Oops. <laughs> if only. <laughs> ah, damn it. Hey, strawberry. How you doing? Yeah, I need to get these geo rocks underneath. Thank you very much, Tremon. Welcome, Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Okay, maybe I am getting a good nail build. Fury for one. I love playing or more. Wait. Do you have any video game suggestions while I wait for Silk Song? Hmm. I have a sponsored video coming out soon. So you should play that game <laughs> on Wednesday, in fact. Totally not chilling. Yo, thanks so much, Calendar. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. It's honestly kind of hard to think of like good Metroidvanias. Um, the last one that I played that I enjoyed was Haiku. But I am really picky about these games, so... I think there's a good chance you'd like it. I just don't have like many recommendations. I did enjoy Call to the Lamb a lot, but it's like obviously a very different game. Yeah, I play Dead Cells. It's a, it's a good game, although it like never sucked me in, you know? And I also, I played it after they released the uh, nail weapon, like the Hollow Knight weapon. And that weapon is busted. I went from sucking ass at the game and getting owned every time by like the third area to just beating the game. No problem. So it's a good weapon. I like it. <laughs> uh, Queen's Garden Stag. Probably not going to need that. Wait, there's no maps here, right? Nope, no maps. Okay, so Essence is kind of useless. Oh yeah, Hades is a really, really good game. I loved Hades. It doesn't have, like, the replayability you'd expect from a 
roguelike game. Like, it, it's not going to have the same replayability as, like, Dead Cells. But, until, it, like, I spent 20 hours or 25 hours on that game, and I really enjoyed it. Queen Station Stag. Okay, there's nothing else here. So I can just head out. Bugging the final boss? Yup. <laughs> It's kind of... Oh, no, I... I... I always do this at the start of every rando. Just let myself get scammed. Bloody Dragon Princess became a disciple. Yo, thanks so much. Bloody Dragon Princess. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. How far did I get with Slay the Spire? Um... I played, like, on and off a little bit recently. I was just grinding up the, uh... The fourth character i forget the name but i got up to like ascension seven or something i i played the um <laughs> i don't know any of the character names i played the third character like the robot character and i got that up to ascension 20 because that's my favorite the others are a lot lower i don't really want essence Well, sometimes with the Watcher, you just die. Like, you'll be doing fine, and then you just get owned in one turn. But when things go well, they go really well, I find. Hell yeah, that character's really good. I just always stack Frost Orbs. That's all I do. Map at station, but you have to get it at Dirtmouth. Oh. Wait, there was a map in Dirtmouth? God, I need to pay more attention. Oh shit. Ouch. But yeah, I can get up into Green Path now. Just by going up through here. Letting you know if, the, if my sub is weird. I'm sorry, my bank account got hacked and YouTube pulled money out from empty. Oh god, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries, McKelly. Hope you can uh, get that sorted out without too much headache. Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Willow of the Wisps. Um, I tried Blind Forest, and I honestly didn't love it. Like, obviously, it's a pretty well-reviewed game. But I went- I think I went into it kind of expecting a bit more, like, Metroidvania. And I was a bit disappointed in that regard. But like, obviously, it has a lot of really good ele elements to it. So, like, that being said, I'm probably going to try out Will of the Wisps sometime because everyone says it's got better combat. Yeah, that's what I hear. Completely different. I'm gonna check these lantern locations first because I think the randomizer might want to put some good shit behind dark rooms. I'll take the arcane egg. <laughs> Plus one damage. I 
can definitely tell the Moon Studio devs were inspired by all the Metroidvanias that had come out after Ori 1. That's good. No need to reinvent the wheel. Emily N became a disciple. Oh, hey, Emily. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for the support. That said, if you're taking so much inspiration that if you're like Lotus Knight, then, <laughs> then you're taking things a step too far, perhaps. Yeah, I like to I like to kill things, you know. I don't like uh, just chase sequences. Like that kind of thing can be okay in moderation, but. I want to kill stuff. Oh, shit. Okay. I always forget about this spot. Oh, <laughs> good thing I didn't. <laughs> Jesus. Mothwing Cloak early? Man, we never get this. I played an entire... an entire mod yesterday, didn't get Mothwing Cloak. <laughs> it's only fair that I get it now. Fire Evil. I need to get it. I need to uh, commission a Fire Evil sometime. I was thinking that if I did Fire Evil, it would be a Grub. Because I want to spread that anti-Grub propaganda. You know what? I'm gonna play some Ori while I watch stream. Okay. Enjoy, Noah. Oh, wings glide. Okay. That lets you glide uh, after you get wings. So you, you need wings to activate it. But it is a really nice ability. Early dash is the best. Hell yeah. I'm gonna explore to the right over here because I can also get this bench and like warp back to it. Wait, is there are there any checks to the right? Is there one Geo Rock? Yeah. Okay. Worry two is so much more to do since there are also side quests and NPCs to talk to. That's cool. Another arcane egg. God. The randomizer is just giving me all the best relics once I've decided not to sell them. Oh, I can go to the left now. Oops. Goddamn game. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you enjoy the videos, Emily. How many slots do you get on YouTube anyway? Uh, I think I have 20. Um, I think I have something like 18 emotes right now. Although I wanna like get some of them redone. Oh, King's Brand, okay. Like, <laughs> I can probably ditch the leg hot dog, <laughs> for example. <laughs> that was like a... It was a concept. Not sure if it worked too well. But yeah, like, my member count is like 250. And you get an emote like every 20 members or so. Or an emote slot, rather. I can get horns, right? That is 
That is an emote. I just tell the artist. <laughs> no, not the Sherma Bongo. I just tell the artist, make the Instagram hot dog, but leg eater. What a what a great idea. And then then I uploaded Sherma Bongo, but it doesn't bongo, so it just does nothing. <laughs> So like in YouTube Studio, you can you can upload GIFs, right? And when you upload it, it actually shows the GIF animated in the preview. But if you actually try to post it anywhere, it's just a still image. <laughs> I was like, wow, YouTube finally added support for GIFs. <laughs> nope. Apparently not. Nothing, he's cute. That's true. We can call it like Sherma Paws or something. <laughs> At least it works on Twitch for like, you know, when I stream there once a month or so. If that took Twitch 10 years, give YouTube another five. Yeah. Oh, we finally got raids <laughs> for what it's worth. And that was like a few months ago. And there's no one, there's no one to even raid. So perfect. Oh, I... Oh, I'm trapped. God damn it. I wasn't thinking. Yo, Hickams is here? Oh, hey, Hickams. My hair waits for dinner. <laughs> yep, that's me. Oh, oops. Strawberry. Oh shit. Uh, oh yeah, I have to kill Venge Viking. I'm thinking I might get 3,000 Geo before any of the other goals. <clears throat> but at least once I get like further into the rando, the goals will be a lot easier to get. It's just going to be a phase at this at this point where I just like have to get a ton of uh, progression. Oh, Dream Nail. Okay. <clears throat> Green Path is absolutely stacked. And there's, there's still, like, a lot of checks here, so... Yeah, I th so I think the mod I got keeps track of how much Geo that I spend. Let me see. Wait, where is it? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Well, shit. <laughs> Oh, maybe it only pops up when you spend Geo. Maybe that's it. I should kill these guys just for the Geo, though. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, we have we have pinned messages. We got we got some good stuff. Like, the only big advantage that YouTube has is, like, the ability to, like, easily do playback. That is pretty nice. Otherwise, it's, like, 
not so great. And YouTube does promote the streams all at least for me. Maybe not for everyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, feuder mode on YouTube. Wait, what the heck is this? Feuder mode on YouTube is terrible. Like, you can get a you can get a, an extension for Chrome that gives you a better feuder mode that like actually kind of makes sense. But by default, it's like <laughs> it doesn't fill the screen. Like, what's the point if it doesn't fill the screen? Yeah, they should be easy to fix. But they're too busy working on fucking shorts and stuff. Yo, thanks so much, kind kind knight. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for the support. So yeah. I swear to God, if YouTube just becomes a platform for shorts, I'm going to be so upset. Although maybe, maybe we're already kind of there. We're getting there. Dear God. See, so many people are just like the most fucking terrible videos. And they're all shorts and they all have a bajillion views. I mean, like to be fair, a view on a short is not the same as a view on like a regular video, but... I need to I need to get my slice of the pie. Have you made the health bar nice? I only have an ugly red bar. <laughs> so you have to go into your saves directory and there's going to be an enemy HP bar dot global settings dot JS on. I think that's what it's called. And um, you have to manually edit the text file like with notepad or something. And um, you can just like tweak the values until it looks kind of nice. What's your favorite pie? Mm. Honestly, I like, I'm not really a pie person. Like then again, if you put pie in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. But. <laughs> That also goes for pretty much anything. And I'm also not really a cake person, although I like cheesecake. Oh, I don't have any spell stalling, do I? Yeah, pretty much cold. Those are some very based food takes. <laughs> oh, I've missed a Geo Rock. Pie does not have enough protein. I'm just like, I'm not huge into sweet foods. in general. Okay, let's go toward massive Moss Charger. I have so much Geo, holy shit. When did I get this much? Probably from Moss Knights, I guess. Cheesecake, hell yeah. It's 
Strawberry just eats desserts I can't pronounce. <laughs> I deal so much damage. Oh, I'm I'm doing okay. I have ten nail damage because of the relics. Like limb strength is actually so good early on because it's like I have nail, like it's like I have a nail upgrade pretty much, even though I don't. Cl cl clad caca one. <laughs> what the hell? I think she just made that up. French silk pie? What? What the hell is that? <laughs> Y'all are making me look uncultured. I don't know any of this shit. Oh, hidden station. Holy shit, Watcher Knight's Geo Chest. Okay, we're definitely getting the 3000 Geo goal. Sounds like a word for poo, yeah. Kaka at the end. Oh my god. I just got all the good geo chests. I'm okay with that. Yeah, chocolate cake's the shit. Ooh. Okay, that's that's everything in Green Path. Wait, wait, wait. I have Dream Nail, so I could do No Eyes, couldn't I? It's actually grayed out. I think because it's a difficult boss fight with with my setup, I guess. Even though I don't, I don't think it's that bad. At least I'm guessing that's why. But I can do No Eyes. Yeah, I think I... It depends on how much stuff I can actually buy. Because I don't know if there's 3,000 GO worth of stuff to get right now. <laughs> that might be the main issue. I could just go to Salubra, though. And that's probably the best place to go in terms of checks. not in boss logic. You need two spells? What? Interesting. Well, I guess it makes sense, kind of, if you want to not force people to do bosses that would be really tough for them. That is kind of surprising, though, because uh, I think if you take no eyes slowly, it's not that bad. But some people do struggle with it, I guess. Uh, okay, let's go to the stack. <laughs> Set up behind the sticks. <clears throat> Just put 3,000 hours into the game and no eyes isn't that bad. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that would be open. Need you to pull up an image of French silk. I am actually kind of curious. French silk pie. What the f hell is that? Oh shit. Oh, it's like whipped cream. I mean, <laughs> it looks pretty good. I'll, I'll admit. Lore. A lot of boss logic is weird, like Phil Champ in logic is dash and two spells. You know, I, I guess it it makes sense. Like how how else would you do it really? 
And yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good solution. It is a little bit jank, I guess, but how else would you do it? Oh, I've got so many stags, now that I think about it. Everyone's just getting hungry. <laughs> Kaka is just a brownie. Why can't we just call it a brownie? <laughs> Wait, I gotta look this one up too. Clod Kaka. Okay, it's a chocolate cake. This dense, compact chocolate cake is similar to a chocolate brownie and a malt molten chocolate cake. The ingredients are flour, eggs, butter, sugar. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Gotta find my mouse cursor. <laughs> Your meatball culture. <laughs> Everyone, stop talking about food. No. You are free to talk about food. Please continue. Vertical Super Dash. This isn't in the vanilla game. Well, thanks for clarifying. <laughs> oh, quick slash for two. Okay. Oh, this is a good spot to spend Geo, isn't it? It's just I don't have a counter for the Geo that I'm spending. Oh, Howling Wraiths. Okay. But I assume if I spend all my Geo, then that's going to be enough, right? Uh, there was a stag station in Dirtmouth. So maybe I should see what Sly has. The Crystal Master? What the heck is this? Greatly increases the running speed of the bearer in exchange for Geo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it drains your Geo, I guess? Interesting. Oh god, chat's moving so fast. It's not actually, I'm just a bad streamer. What? Okay. Okay, I'm not, I haven't missed anything. <laughs> Everyone's just talking about pronunciations of potato. Check the mod options for bingo UI, the geo. Oh, okay, thanks, Truman. Uh, oh, bingo UI. Oh. Okay, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Display counters on change. Okay. Um. Oh, I haven't been into mound yet. <laughs> that's that's a good spot to go. I'm gonna go up to Dirtmouth and see what Sly has first, though. Yeah, I'm not ready to lose my Geo quite yet. Give me this. Give me this. Okay. Crystal Heart. I will take it. Uh. Yeah. Let's take this Pale Ore and then I. Wait, I can't. Af I can't quite afford. Um. The Stag. But. I've got spend 3,000 Geo, so we can finally progress to another square. Let me zoom in a little bit. So just so everyone knows, the way this works is um, you start off with three objectives per column, then you go to five, then you go to seven, and then you go to nine objectives per column, or per row, sorry. And then... Um, yeah, it just stays at 9 for the rest until you get to these where you have to do the one objective. You don't have any choice once you get to these rows. Okay. Defeat Dung Defender. Enter the Lifeblood Core Room without wearing any Lifeblood Charms. Oh my god. <laughs> that is horrible. Slash the Beast Den Trilobite. Is that... Wait, what? Is that the big... 
thing? I don't know what a trilobite is. What? It sounds like a like a four, like a like a megabyte and a trilobite. I don't know. Let me let me Google this shit. <laughs> okay, that is the statue. I don't know. Okay. I'm just so confused. It's a fossil. Okay. All right. I'll take everyone's word for it. Uh, okay. So there's not much at the grub. I'm just going to go back to the crossroads stag. <clears throat> I think the easiest one is going to be dung defender because I already... I don't have vertical for dung defender. But I'll probably get vertical eventually, right? And I already have a simple key. So that's most likely going to be the easiest one. Oh, let me get this Geo Rock. Can I? I can't make it up here, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. But then I. <laughs> you actually. I think you need. Um, the infected bench flies to make it up there from, like, uh, infected crossroads. And then you can go up. Sounds like a terabyte. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I never understood the significance of that. Yeah, lifeblood core might be easiest. But I'd have to collect so much, um... Like lifeblood cocoons. That might be pretty hard without, um, without vertical. Might be doable, though. In rando, lifeblood door opens with just one lifeblood? Wait, really? That suddenly becomes a much easier goal, then. It almost feels like cheating, though. Yeah, I do have a simple key. But, like, to get to Dung Defender, I also need vertical movement. It's doable with wings. Once I get another Charm Notch, there's one at Salubra, then I can unequip Fury to use Quick Slash. It opens with one Lifeblood Charm? Oh my gosh. <laughs> get, your, get your facts straight, chat. Didn't Salubra sell lifeblood? Oh, maybe. That would be an easy way to get some. Although I'd have to take it all the way down there. Hmm. Oh, I, I got the preview for the Whispering Roots by jumping up there. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> well, now I know it's not useful. Although there is a Geo Rock up there. I wonder if I can bring this, bring these Fench Flies over. To pogo off of. Oh, nice. No, oh, there's nothing. <laughs> there's two soul refills in a geo rock. Perfect. Uh, okay, I can do like I'll warp up to uh, dirt mouth and then I'll sweep down through Moloch, Moloch's area. You just need one lifeblood mask? Okay. Where's the closest cocoon? Like, lifeblood thingy? I, 
I guess... God, I can't even think. I would be for a setting that you die every time you kill a trans bug. <laughs> that would be kind of funny, actually. Should pass that on to the modding community. Someone will actually do it. Ooh, Snail Slash. Oh, this is the new artwork that Sarah made. <laughs> nice. Sarah actually uh, told me that they made new artwork for this mod. Very cool. I just noticed that. Charm symbol. Uh, bearer will gain soul from all sources at a much higher rate, but their nail will deal minimum damage. Well, we do not want that. Because we have a nail build going. <clears throat> Do you remember what part of the game was the most difficult for you during your first playthrough? Uh... <laughs> I died once to Hornet. No, wait, I d did I die twice to Hornet? Thanks so much, Moby Disc. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Oh shit, is Mister. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So I, I died a couple times to Hornet One, and then I was like, "What the hell's going on?" Because the game felt kind of laggy. And back then, if you had VSync on, your frame rate would get limited to like whatever your monitor's refresh rate was, and that would cause like a ton of lag. So I found that out, and then, then I just face rolled the entire game. True story. Spent a whole afternoon on Hornet. <laughs> I I kind of like try hard in these games sometimes. So I'm. Pretty good at, like, learning the ropes, I guess. It's just fun for me to, like, see how fast I can get good at something. That's kind of... That's why I, like, enjoyed getting into speedrunning so much. Because the process is a lot longer. Shaman Amp for one. <laughs> okay, maybe... This is the super busted charm. So maybe we'll get a spell build going on eventually, too. And Vengeful Spirit is here. So I actually took a while to do Path of Pain, um, given that I had a lot of speedrunning experience. It took me like two and a half hours. And same with NKG. <clears throat> but I'd already had like probably 500 hours played at that point, so... You know, I, I know a lot of people who just play through the game casually and take that same amount of time to do those bosses. If they're, like, you know, experienced uh, with these kinds of games, anyway. I had a friend who beat False Knight easily, then kept dying to the Elder Balder in Ancestral Mount. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, it's probably better to just go to Mantis Claw. I remember being stuck at Hornet when I played it originally, but then I put it down and couldn't play. When I came back, she wilted. <laughs> nice. Yeah, sometimes you just need a little break. Oops. I think if you, like, take those fights kind of patiently and abuse staggers to heal up as much as possible, then they're much, much easier. And if you can, like, learn to, um, like, cast spells when you're full soul and then heal up when the boss staggers twice, then... 
even if you're like not that good at movement and stuff, you can still do pretty well against some of those like staggerable bosses. So it's just like really abusing the game's mechanics as much as possible. Oh, tomorrow is my birthday. Could I get a happy birthday? <laughs> happy birthday, Moby. Welcome to the chat. Scared to start on Path of Pain? Well, you know, it's an optional thing, so if you don't think you'd enjoy it, it's totally valid not to do it. But personally, I found it like a lot of fun. It's just, you know, it, if you're really scared of losing your progress from dying, then that's something that can happen. <laughs> so just, you know, mentally prepare yourself. I guess. Lost Kin took me way longer than any other fight in the game for some reason. Lost Kin does kind of have like tricky movement, like in terms of like all the jumps and stuff. It's a Lubra's blessing. <laughs> every time I get Lubra's blessing, I just think of the person who is raging about it every single time I get this. <laughs> game is ruined because Salubra at the bench. Oops. Oh, elevator pass. Okay, that opens up a few checks in uh, Forgotten Crossroads. When was your heart racing more? End of Path of Pain or end of P5? Uh, end of P5, for sure. Like, once you've killed a couple King's Molds in speedruns and stuff, because I'd already done, like, true ending speedruns at that point. A little bit, anyway. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna pogo on them and dive. And I did. Oh, Unbreakable Heart, nice. Oh, I forgot I had Isma's <laughs> It is really satisfying to finish Path of Pain. I actually, like, when I did it, I breezed through the first three rooms and I got stuck on the fourth room. I think that's what happens to most people, though. Like, you enter the first room and you're like, holy shit, and then you get through it in, like, ten minutes. If you're, like, if you got the speedrunning experience, I mean. And then room two is, like, not too bad, in my opinion, because the checkpoints are, like, you have to do, like, two seconds of platforming again if you fall into spikes. Oh shit. Oh shit, I should have lured them. Oh, can I can I do this? Oh fuck it attacked. <laughs> Hunter's journal, yes. Definitely ten minutes for sure. <laughs> oh god. Um okay, I can just go back to that bench. <laughs> Hi Dylan, welcome. So you're one of one of the zero star review people. Well, actually, if, as long as it's not zero star, we're cool. One out of ten, that's okay. That is acceptable. Okay, I can still get this check to the right if I bring this mantis over. Oh. Wait, why am I doing this? That's <laughs> just a Geo Rock and a Soul Statue. <laughs> well, whatever. M may as well get it off the map while I'm here. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so let's go back to Leg Eater. What is this lore totem or lore tablet? Hmm. Yeah, I'll go back to Leg Eater and take a left at the Charm Notch. My least favorite room is the big vertical one. Yeah. Like rooms one, three, and four have much longer uh, spaces like in between the checkpoints. So if you if you actually fall into spikes or whatever, then you lose a lot more time. Hunter's journal is just what you needed. Yep. Totally. I have some mobility issues. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that could definitely make it a lot more challenging. A crap. Well, it's awesome that you still played through the game despite that. I've never played a Metroidvania before HK, and P.O.P. took me a cumulative 25-ish hours over multiple days. That's awesome that you stuck with it. That is some dedication. Like, it really just comes down to, like, experience with these kinds of things. I was, like, playing the shit out of Mario games and stuff as a kid, so I'm really used to platformers. And then I went through my FPS phase as a teenager. <laughs> well, I've been through here, haven't I? I should go to the right and go toward, like, Sporsh Room. Them hands don't work quite as fast as I would wish. <laughs> Understandable. I wish I didn't get hand pain. Uh, so I could just, like, practice QGA for, like, 10 hours. <laughs> Oh shit, I ugh, damn it. I have to get the lever from the right. Uh I guess I'll do that after because I'm already Oh I don't have vertical. This was not the best way to go. There are three four checks here, so it's like kinda worth it to go this way. But maybe I'll save that for a little bit later. I can go through here. Never got to be Radiance. That is valid. Oops. I didn't do, like, the Pantheons for the longest time. When uh, Godmaster came out, I just did like Pantheons 1 and 2, and I'm like, whatever, this is kind of boring. And then I went back to any percent. <laughs> Jesus. That was like five explosions. Uh, let me get this soul totem first. I guess I go to the teacher's archives. You'd like to try P5 with bindings? That would be cool. 
it's definitely fun to go to challenges like that because like after you do any percent you do take like a bit of your you know like general hollow knight skill into those challenges but it's still like really different so it does feel like you're learning something fresh Super Mario Odyssey was legitimately a fantastic game if you like platformers and collectathons. I haven't played it. <laughs> I played uh, Galaxy 1 and 2, but I. Oh my shit. Jesus. I played Galaxy 1 and 2, but I haven't played Odyssey yet. Ouch. It looks like a fun game. Only ever played Mario games like Sunshine and Odyssey and Kirby's playing HK where things are actively trying to kill me made me want to cry. <laughs> Let me scratch my nose. <laughs> I think I definitely enjoy games that are a bit more difficult, like Hollow Knight, but played like um Kirby in the Forgotten Land recently and I still enjoyed that quite a bit. <clears throat> and that game is pretty easy. <laughs> Although I didn't do the post game content. Maybe that's a little bit tougher. Oh I I broke my map. Oh I can't pause the game. <laughs> Shit. Um, well, uh, I have to use debug mod. Oh, I can't because... Ah, shit. Uh-oh. This is bad. Uh-oh. What do I do? So I opened the map as I entered the water. And I think the game thinks my map is open, but it's not. So when your map is open, you can't pause the game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and if I close the game, I think I lose some of my save progress. But I'm not sure how much. Mm. When's the MGRR playthrough? I might actually play that sometime. It looks like a fun game. I just, I never have time to do, like, casual stuff. Hmm. My debug hotkeys are also not working. Or do I just not have... Okay, I have some hotkeys. Uh... I just... I... Oh, did I fix it? Is it fixed? Oh, it's fixed. Okay, hazard respawn fixed it. Phew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought my hotkeys were not working because uh, cause my cheat hotkeys got rebound because I bound them for 1, 2, 2, 1. And for some reason that gets rid of your hotkeys for later patches. Not sure why, but... I would love to see Fire play some Soulsborne games. <laughs> so I have a habit. I don't know if anyone's noticed. But I will sometimes do a casual stream, for example, with Elden Ring, or Subnautica Below Zero, or Ender Lilies, or Cult of the Lamb, where I do like one stream, and then I do not continue. And I did that for Elden Ring, and yeah, it was just, oh, I think I did three Elden Ring streams total. But, like, even then, there was, like, progression 
in between the streams. Yo, thanks a lot, Recro. Recrosin? Or should I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. You let me know how to pronounce your name if you want. And I'll, I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for the support. Never have time for filthy... Ooh, dash slash. Filthy, casual, grass toucher games. <laughs> exactly. It's... It's also kind of like I want to keep like my number one hobby is just like gaming and with like Cult of the Lamb, for example, I did a stream or two. I forget if I did two, but I wanted to play the game in my free time and I'm like, do I play the game or do I um, <clears throat> not play the game so I can stream it later? And I just decided I'm going to play this shit. <clears throat> so there is one check here, and I'm not sure where it is. Am I supposed to be able to pogo this to get up here? Because that seems kind of far-fetched without spell stalling. Right? Like... <laughs> oh, maybe I have to do... Oh, I have to do e-pogo. Okay. Yeah, I can do e-pogo for sure. Decided you get a membership to celebrate your 300th hour on HK. Nice. Congrats on 300 hours. Ender Lilies is, was a really fun game. The combat was definitely weird. Like, just... I felt like I had so many buttons in that game. It's like I'm playing World of Warcraft or something. <laughs> like, you just summon all these different dudes to do different attacks and you can actually like you have one if i recall correctly you have a bar of three dudes but you can also switch to another bar of another three dudes so it's a lot to uh micromanage but it it was a lot of fun still just realized fire used to play cuphead Cuphead? Uh, I didn't like it. Oh, Crossroads map. Oh, I can't get this. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't like the game that much, but it got crazy views on YouTube. Like, if you think Hollow Knight gets a lot of views, try making Cuphead videos. For some reason, like, I, I don't think it's that interesting content-wise, but <laughs> man, it gets a lot of views. So I made a few videos, and then I was like, fuck this game. I don't think it's fun for, like, challenge runs or speed runs. At least not for me. I have so many stags, I should probably use some. Speaking of which, I'm attempting to set up a second monitor to play Subnautica Below Zeroes and watch stream. Okay. Hope you can figure that out. My favorite game of all time is Bloodborne. I played a little bit of it. And then I stopped playing. I was having a great time with it, but I'm like, I don't want to. So like uh, when I was living at my mom's place, I just had like everything in my room. So it was super cramped. And whenever I wanted to play the PS4, I would have to like take it out. So, yeah. I just got lazy. But now I have a setup in the basement, so... I could potentially play it, but I wouldn't stream it. Oops, let's go back. I can... Can I get anything in Beast Den? Well, I could see what's at the egg shop, right? I think there is an egg shop. Keyword trying. Good luck. 
My bro used to play Bloodborne, it was too scary for me. <laughs> Understandable. It's a little bit scary. I loved the game, like, thematically. Okay, Charm Notch. Ooh, dive for 11. That's a lot of eggs, though. I, I have two. So that's, that's nine more eggs for dive. <laughs> Gosh. Mm, okay, what's the next juiciest place to go? Wait, I, I, I oh, I, Dash Slash is a Balder Killer, right? Wait, what is that bench icon? Huh? Oh, that's the starting spot. Okay, I was confused. That's where I started, so I can warp back there if I need to. There's not that many really juicy spots anymore. Um, mm, oh, I can get through here, but I have to go through QGA, right? I'd have to go through QGA and then go, like to the left here, and then I could go down all the way through here and get into Deep Nest. There are a decent number of checks. Your bank account was hacked, so of course half your Steam wishlist is on sale. <laughs> God. Perfect timing, of course. Mm, so it's either City or Deep Nest. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I can go here and then take the elevator down. It seems like a good plan. Let's go to the stag. Love the blushes on the disciple skin. <laughs> you know, um, Basti, for those who know Basti, he's the uh, guy making lone fungus. He made a disciple skin. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. But I already said it, so. <laughs> it's in the game. And he didn't add blushies, and I'm like, bro. Gotta add blushies. It's like the most important part. I went the wrong way. I got distracted by talk about blushies. <laughs> Understandable, Noah. I will forgive you. I don't really know much about Last of Us. It's not really a horror game, though, is it? It's more like... I don't know. It's got some drama elements, I guess. There are, like, zombies, right? I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'll just stop talking. Oops. Wayward compass. Good, because I totally didn't cheat that in already. Oh, and a Frenzidek. Um, I might need Dive at some point to complete the bingo, so I should try to get Rancid Eggs when I can. Oh, there's a map. That would be my third map if I can buy it. Oh, I can get Quick Slash. Nice. Would you say 247 is a good time for Path of Pain in 400 attempts? Yes, I would. That is, Path of Pain, it also kind of depends on how much you're trying to implement. Because, like, <laughs> there is the famous story of Alex not finishing a run, you know, until he got the 
201. So that's like how many tens of thousands of attempts? Like, I'm sure he could have got like a 203 or 204 or 205 without like too much difficulty if he just finished a run. But. Oops. Do you think five hours is good in one attempt? Yeah. Of course. Feel bad for my poor apple tree. It tried so hard, but with the drought, it made the tiniest apples. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't have any geo for anything. Tram bass, okay. I mean, I could sell one arcane egg. Oh, that's it. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Let me take a swig of water. <clears throat> the 400 attempts includes a lot of unfinished ones because I failed very simple jumps. That is completely normal. <clears throat> like even... Uh, VLS is one of the best runners, and he was getting kind of frustrated because he kept, uh, like, you know the crystal dash at the beginning of room four that you do on the wall? Um, he just kept, like, missing the, I don't know if it was the jump up to it or just the C dash itself, <clears throat> but he would just get so nervous after room three that he would, like, he would get there on pace for world record, and he would just... Keep messing it up. It's just... It's really tough. Uh... Oh, oops. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm... I soft-locked myself. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, can I get warped all the way back up? Nice. Okay, good. Phew. I need to heal. I should probably... Mm, okay, so I can do Lem. Then I can do the seals. Uh, rafter... Rafter seal? The seal that's to the right. Left. <laughs> my, my brain is not functioning. <laughs> just, Just ignore me. Ooh, Chaos Orb for one. <clears throat> I found, yeah, like the early game bosses in Bloodborne, I found them pretty challenging. <sighs> I have to save Grubs, because it's a rando, unfortunately. Okay, let's go get these checks to the right. I think I only need 22 crops, though, and I'm surprisingly already pretty close. The game is just throwing grubs at me, as usual. Ooh, shopkeeper ski. That's a good one. Oh, I have to go back down here again. <laughs> Do you want to sell to Lem? Ugh. I don't think I need to sell anymore. Okay, I'm stuck here. I'd have to go down from the tram to get that check. And that's like kind of a long way to go for one check. Can I get anything in waterways? Yes. I have Defender's Crest, right? Yeah. So I can take that down into Waterways. 
I still doing Lem Strength? Yep. I'm probably going to be doing it the entire playthrough. Hmm. So yeah, I cannot do Dung Defender yet. Because I need vertical movements. Can I get any checks to the left? No. Okay. I think I'm actually going to get vertical progression soon, though, because there's not <clears throat> there's not like a, a ton of checks left, and I do have duplicate major items on. <laughs> of course, it's just a grub. Yeah, Transcendence got an update. I'm not sure if it added new charms, but they do have new artwork, which uh, was done by Syrah. <laughs> Millibel's blessing is really cute. I think there were changes other than the art, too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get the tramp pass. Oh, yeah, there was a map at, um, at the store rooms? Yeah. You can actually see it. So let me, let me warp back there and get the map, just so I can see, just so I can see the goal on the left, on the second row, or third row, I guess. Okay, got three maps. Wait, you can't go to the left after you've already got a goal? No way. What? So I'm locked into this one. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know it worked like that. Shit. <laughs> okay. See ya, Emily. Hope you have a good night. Good sleep. Please save the grubs. I cannot make any promises. But good luck with sleeping. <laughs> okay, let me equip Defender's Crest. And Chaos Orb, because Chaos Orb is actually really good. Yo, Carter. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for the support. I think there's a pretty good chance that there's progression down here. There's a... Uh... Oh, I can actually go down to Basin. Hmm. If I can find a way to get lifeblood down there, I might be able to open up that door. I'm going to do these checks to the right first, because I don't know if I can get back up if I go down to the left. What do we got? Oh, a charm notch. Nice. How do you know what charms you get from the chaos orb? Uh, I think you just have to like observe the effects. So you can see, like, I have um, all my abilities and stuff in the bottom left. It's like a little bit hard to see, probably, but I don't have any spells. I have Dash Slash, and I have Mothwing Cloak and Crystal Heart. I do not have Dive. Dive is locked behind 11 Rancid Eggs. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. There is fragile strength for two. That's not bad. Ah, I have to warp back up so I can use C dash to get into like the basin. So I'm gonna do that because that's pretty far down uh, in terms of like what requirements I need to get there. So it 
next item might be down there. Yo, Matilda, welcome back. <clears throat> it would be kind of cool if there were like, uh, a, like UI elements to show you what chaos orb effects you have. That would be interesting. Wait, okay, I need to go to the right to get down through here. Uh, cannot do Luke Marm. Oh, I have Stalwart Shell. <laughs> Oh no, that, that messed me up. <laughs> That's fine. So I can heal up. So once you've picked a goal, you're actually committed to that row, like to just getting that goal. So if you pick any goals on the left or right side, that means you'll only unlock two goals in the subsequent row. So there is actually like a downside to picking uh, goals that are on the sides. That would be really interesting in like a race format. Like if you were racing someone to do this, like to complete a roguelike bingo. Uh, I cannot go to the right, so let's just go down. I need to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh yeah, there's nothing else in here. Let me check what's at the tree, though. Nothing. Yep, this is a randomizer. Uh, I'm using skill upgrades, and I'm using... Oh, nice, there's these platforms. <laughs> Thank god. I'm using skill upgrades and transcendence for the new charms. Uh, oh, the Geo's up there, but it's just a Geo rock. I mean, holy shit, I'm zooming. Oops. Let me just get this. This is the charm that um, gives me extra speed in exchange for a losing Geo, I guess. Oh, I. There's no platforms here, though. Fuck. Oh, man. I gotta warp back. <laughs> no. That's not right. Where's my platforms? Amothity, please. Well, should I, should I actually go down again? There's one, two, three... F oh, there's a lot of checks. Oh, I can even go into the abyss. So it's definitely worth it to go down <sighs> god damn it <laughs> I, I do actually have to go down that's where like all the checks are and they're really deep in the progression chain i guess whatever you want to call it oh i got the low gravity charm right when i need to progress downward Yeah, hopefully I do find some lifeblood. I'll go make dinner now. Hope to catch up later. Okay. Enjoy your dinner, Lisa. Thanks for hanging out. Oops, I forgot there was water under me. <laughs> oh my god. I have a nitro charm. <laughs> Gotta make use of this. Ouch. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, for those who... Oops. 
for those who don't know what's going on, I have a charm uh, called Chaos Orb, and it gives me three random uh, charm effects from the new charms that are added through the Transcendence mod, and it just kind of like switches them up every like 20 or 30 seconds or something. Oh, and it, it also includes old charm effects. I forgot about that. But it's pretty strong because it only costs one uh, right now. So that is not bad. Let me get this. I'm going to go in here first so I get the bench. I'm a bit tired. I think I'll take a nap. Bye. It was nice chatting. It was nice having you, Moby Disc. Hope you have a nice nap. Just got recommended Wheatley Crab. I feel like watching it. What the heck? What is that? <laughs> well, hope, hope you enjoy Wheatley Crab. Uh, so I can't go down there because I don't have dive. What? Oh, I have blue moth wings. <laughs> All right. So there is a charm that gets added from the mod that gives you wings. Uh, it gives you like unlimited double jumps, but each double jump uh, costs Geo, which is kind of broken in randomizers. But I, I've already I've already lost it. So good luck, Noah. <laughs> you got this. Oh, I, I just didn't hold right after the dash. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I would have made that. Okay, what does Cornifer have? Okay. Corners, Cornifer... Was, all, was he also... No, that was at the elevator tool. I was like, is Cornifer just selling rancid eggs? Uh, okay, I want to get the toll bench. And then I'm going to go... Should I go down first? Mm, I think if I go to the left, there's a chance, higher chance that I'll get um, lifeblood and I can go down. So if I get lifeblood, I'm just going to go straight to the abyss and try to take it there. What are Grubfather rewards? Uh, I forget. There was something at 22, though. What was it? I, I totally forget what it was. I don't think it was super important, but it was progression. Wraiths? Uh, it might be Wraiths, yeah. What? What good does this platform do? What? What? What the heck? Swim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Thanks, Kadala. <clears throat> Dive is at rancid eggs, or eleven. Drop all geo into the fountain for fifteen geo. <laughs> All right. 3,000 for 15. That is quite possibly the biggest scam I've seen yet. Oh, wasn't even close. <laughs> Okay, let's try not to miss any of this Geo. Some to the right here. Oh, did I miss this one? Okay, no, good. <clears throat> Ooh, quick focus for one. That's quite nice. Deep focus for zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. 
that's like interesting that they're right beside each other and cost nothing. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Abyss is amazing. Wait, but oh fuck. I don't think I can carry it up. Unless I wait for Blue Moth Wing. Oh. Or this. Alright. I'm getting insanely lucky. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just it's just a little bit too high. Fuck. No. I have to do this quickly. Oh my god, I'm fucking up. Oh, I'm I missed my opportunity. <laughs> I I that was completely my own fault. I could have made it up there for sure. Can I still do it? Yeah. Oh. No. I was like, I'm gonna have to do that stupid uh, skip in CC's video. But we did not make it there. <laughs> so I wonder, like, what's the closest lifeblood cocoon? Like, Galleon? Probably? Right? It's gotta be Galleon. That's kind of far, but I do have uh, the tram, so. It's not like the worst journey. Oh, I have wraiths already? What? When did I get wraiths? <laughs> huh? I, I literally do not remember getting wraiths. So yeah, I have Jonies, but I have this bingo goal uh, to open the lifeblood core room without uh, having any lifeblood charms. And that's the one I kind of want to get. Well, I could go for Dung Defender. I could just sit underneath Dung Defender's like the entrance and just wait for blue moth wings or low gravity but that feels kind of cheap i mean it's probably okay though oh i oh, i can't make it up here i'm i'm not going to wait for this <laughs> So I can go to the hidden station, though. Oh, from Salubra. Uh, okay, what path would I take? I, I guess I'd go down the... I'd just take the path that I literally just took. Yeah, I, I can do that. Mm. Well, let's see quick, quick focus, deep focus while we're here. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a pretty awesome combo. I'm gonna also uh, do this while I'm here. And just get... Uh, just get this uh, charm. Because I, I know that uh, there's nothing else in here that's of value, because I already checked at the Whispering Roots. It's just like two soul totems and uh something. Oh, it was the Geo Rock. I just skipped it. Oh, this is a Geo Rock. I probably could have seen that if I looked. <laughs> Maybe I can get something from Grubs. I should check. Oh yeah, and I got shopkeeper's key. So I can also check that. Okay, let's get this free Geo. Scamming the heck out of Sly. Oh, that's a, that's pretty good. Thank you, Sly. Oh, there's also lifeblood masks here. 
but it's only two. Maybe if I, <clears throat> I should probably try to do this before I get any dreamers. Hmm. So let me, let me, I'll get these. Wait, why did it give me six? Oh, I think the mod gave me some extra lifeblood charms. I think you bought it from Salubra. I don't think I bought any other lifeblood heart or lifeblood hearts. Could be mistaken though. Oh, I have low gravity. I'm going to go up to the right. I probably can't make this, can I? My gravity is very low. Oh shit. I was trying to hit it upward. My damage is too high. Oh, that's okay. Hollowness, seal, dream wielder, not too important. I'm... Am I one grub away? No, I'm two grubs away. Oh. Am I going to get another grub? I don't think so. <laughs> God. <sighs> grub father's so stingy. Mm. Oh, shit. Oops. So I think four of those lifeblood masks are from lifeblood charms, or a lifeblood charm. I think it equipped lifeblood core. Uh, so is it cheating? Because lifeblood core is not equipped anymore. <laughs> right? There's a grub at Salubra? Okay. I will go check that out. I could take all that, all this lifeblood, and just go down. I think I'm gonna do that because, uh, just like continuing to play and pray that I eventually get vertical, that could end up taking a really long time. So it's better to just go for the guaranteed goal, even if it's like potentially kind of difficult. Just gotta take it nice and slow. Vertical super dash. I do not want that. Okay, let's get this grub. That's the final grub. Note to self. Do not... Oh, there's no lifeblood here. Okay. Maybe I did buy it if, it, if there was lifeblood here. I want this charm notch, though. Oh, the charm notch got rid of my lifeblood. <laughs> Wait, is that just a visual thing? Do I still have lifeblood? I think it actually got rid of my lifeblood. Let me see. Yeah, I got rid of my lifeblood. Fucking <laughs> game. Ah, uh, why? Why has it got to be like that? <laughs> hmm. uh, why not vertical super dash? Oh, that is actually, it would be really good for checks. It's just, it's annoying when it happens by accident. But it would be good for getting checks for sure. Okay. Uh... So I just, vertical super dash kind of breaks the randomizer logic. So now I can get anything in the game with vertical super dash. So that's cool. So where can I get the most checks? There's a decent amount in Howling Cliffs. King's Pass actually has a ton. So I'm just going to go over to King's Pass. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that, Matilda. Because I was about to actually not use it. Or get it, rather. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm being a dumbass. Shards. 
Sharp Shadow. I have Lifeblood, but it's technically from a Lifeblood charm. So I don't have the Lifeblood charm equipped anymore, but, but I feel like it's kind of cheating if I'm getting it from a Lifeblood charm, you know? Although it is technically legit. <laughs> so... Hmm. Oh, Vengeful Spirit. Nice. Oh, uh, where else? There was VS at Leg Eater? So I could get Shade Soul right now. Wait, what? Oh, White Fragment. What is that other Geo Rock? Is that the one over here? Did I not get this? Oh, I didn't. Oh, swim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> King's Pass is fucking loaded. Well, I have to be careful not to swear on YouTube because uh, one of my streams recently got uh, ad limited for swearing, I think. Probably swearing. Because I can't see any other reason. Oops. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I can I get in between? Oh my! I... Come on! There we go. <laughs> oh shit! It's like pixel perfect trick. It's like a vertical QGA. Yeah, there's a ton of jacks up here. I'm gonna kill Gorb first. Gorb. Oh, we could just go kill Dung Defender, right? <clears throat> could you make an explanation video? Uh, it's probably best. Like, I have streams for each of the add-ons. Like, I have a stream that where I introduce skill upgrades. And I also have a stream where I introduce Transcendence, and I have a stream where I did Lore Master. So I'd probably check those out, because uh, I do talk a little bit more about them in those videos. Oh, I, I got an extra grub. And I already have Swim, so I don't even need to get the grubs. But TLDR, um, there's nothing over here. I always think there's something over here, but it's just that. <laughs> you get a sound effect. Very important. Uh, but yeah, the quick explanation, Transcendence adds two rows of charms. You can see at the bottom, um, they're pretty overpowered. That's what Transcendence does, and if you use Randomizer, it'll randomize the charms. Otherwise, there's fixed locations in the, like, vanilla world where you can find the charms. Skill upgrades is, um, by default, without Randomizer, you can just turn them on or off. And if you have the skills, you can use the skill upgrades. So a skill upgrade that you can find is vertical C dash, and you just like hold up when you C dash and you'll go up. 
there's other ones. There's plenty of other uh, skill upgrades too. But because I'm using randomizer, it puts the skill upgrades into the item pool, so you can just find them randomly throughout the world. Yo, Calamity. Calamity, gaming and creating became a disciple. <laughs> what, where am I going? Thanks so much for the support, Calamity. <laughs> Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Hey, Hope. Let's say good morning, but it's not morning anymore. Oh, it just turned noon for me. <laughs> How's the bingo going? It's going pretty well. Uh, I'm not making much progress on the bingo side of things, but I just got a uh, vertical C dash, which lets me go pretty much anywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to start making progress very soon. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to finish looking through Howling Cliffs. And then I'm going to get the Dung Defender goal. And then I'm, I'm just going to start blasting through the bingo, I think. Because I have... I have a lot of access to the map, and I have like a lot of charms, got Shade Soul, <laughs> so I don't even have to buy it from like Eater, I guess. Oh, whoops. Hopefully I get vertical soon. Like, real vertical. Oh, Nitro Crystal for zero? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so this charm is the best charm. It makes your C dash just go at like triple speed. So that's pretty awesome. Hey, Calamity. Welcome. Oh, is this already done? Wait, did... I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe that's... I don't know. I don't know how that works. Does it have to do with getting Grimchild? Do I have Grimchild? Yes, I do. Okay. Maybe that's why. Okay, there's a Geo Rock somewhere above me that I missed. Wait, was that the Soul Totem that I just went past? Yeah. Let me get this King's Idol. Void Tendrils journal entry. Oh, by the way, I've been keeping tabs on what's going on in the modding scene for Randomizer. <clears throat> People are working on some pretty, like, evil stuff. So, like, the Randomizer scene lately, you know, we've had a lot of fun mods that are kind of overpowered, make you a lot stronger. Stuff like, you know, the Transcendence and Skill Upgrades and Lore Master that I was just talking about. Ouch. But people are making some evil ass shit. Oh, I just said I wouldn't swear anymore. Oops. <laughs> there is... I don't know if I should talk about it publicly because it's kind of in like the hidden development channels, but evil stuff. Evil, you say? <laughs> yes. Uh, I kind of want to go back up to Joni's Blessing and get that stuff. It's over. Oh, no, it's up one more spot. Wish I could stay. I gotta sleep, though. Good luck with roguelike bingo. Seems really cool. Okay. Thanks a lot, Calamity. Hope you have a good sleep.
I was wondering why this wasn't in logic, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not even supposed to be in Howling Cliffs at all. <laughs> Stupid. That was just Geo. Okay, time to go kill Dunk Defender. Uh, Toll. Toll? Yeah. I mean, if it's evil enough to make you swear, I'm excited to see you show it off. Oof. I'm scared. Like, I'm legit scared. Oh, it's equipped because of Chaos Orb. Let's equip that. Let's equip this. Uh, I can unequip Dung or er, Defender's Crest. Mm, I want to use Strength. I don't know if Strength uh, increases base nail damage or nail damage after Lem Strength. Oh, yeah, the Nitro. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. I could just use Shaman Amp. Like, I have Shade Soul, and that's the best one to use with it, so. Okay, let's go. Let's go, um, Kill Dung Defender. Also, chat cute. True. Holy shit. Two, two Dream Shields? Damn. <laughs> Chaos Orb charm is truly wild. I'm like invincible with two Dream Shields, aren't I? Nothing, nothing could possibly hit me. Yeah, Dung Defender. Oh, got a dash up. This is, this is the Nitro boost speed, by the way. It's pretty fast. looks too fast. It's good for, like, extended C-dashes. Wait, what does Shaman Amp do? Doesn't it... Oh, it's based off your Geo count that it makes the spells bigger? Is that... Is this the right one? Yeah. Okay, so I just need more Geo. Oh, I have... I have the Elegy charm. Poor Dung Defender is just getting owned by spiders. Okay. So we can mark off another goal. <laughs> We've done two in two hours. Obtain 15 grubs. I've got that. So I can check that off. Talk to Lim in his shop with Defender's Crest equipped. I can do that as well. Should I go for that or this one, though? Can you all see the bingo card all right? Hopefully you can. Because I, I could make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> Remember when your shriek covered the entire screen. Yes, I will never forget that shit. Oops, no swearing. I need a swear jar or something. Like, I, I hate the concept of swear jars, but... Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. There's, there's nothing down here. Perfect. I'm gonna die. Uh, okay. Let's just focus on goals for now. Yeah, Lem, Lem would be a much easier goal, so let's just go for that. 
I'll get that in like two seconds. <laughs> Hate the concept of swear jars when they're applied to me. <laughs> I have no control over it, you know? That was, the, that was the biggest problem with teaching. It's not being able to swear. Like, how do I express myself? And besides, like, that's the time when I want to swear the most. So, okay. Sorry, sorry, Lim. I won't, won't enter your shop with this again. Defeat the Collector. I do not have Love Key, do I? No. Bow to Moss Prophet, dead or alive. <laughs> The map pins would be pretty easy, but bowing to the Moss Prophet seems even easier. Where the heck is this enemy? It's like right here, right? So I can just go there from Queen Station. Very funny for others. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I do have relics, but I have this charm from Transcendence mod. That gives me plus one nail damage for every relic in my inventory, which is a total of 11. So plus 11 damage, which is a bit more than two nail upgrades. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, you can only check one per row. I thought you could do more in case you wanted to, like, see what the other goals are. But it seems like you commit to that row as soon as you check something in it. Or you commit to that spot, I guess. A construction teacher who would swear he was really funny though we once carried a short kid in our class to the dungeon what <laughs> interesting <clears throat> shape of un yeah high school is a weird time it's just, high school is weird. <laughs> oh, I have blue moth wings randomly at the perfect time. <laughs> okay. I'm like, maybe I have it. Make the bingo give. And, sorry, moss prophet, I just killed everyone. Bow. Okay, you don't you don't have to yell at me. <laughs> Void tendrils journal entry. Complete four full dream trees or check shape of un. I think I can check shape of un, right? But do I have the void tendrils journal entry? Because I got I think I did get it, right? I remember I think I remember saying it. Void tendrils, yeah, I got it. Right? This means I have it. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. I know how journal entries work. I promise. Kill a great hopper. That is the one goal. Okay, that one's pretty easy. We're just gonna go through all these super fast, I think. So I need to get right side city access, so I'm gonna go through Blue Lake. Pretty sure the story was made to scare us, though. Yeah, I think so. Probably. <laughs> Sounds made up. Oh, I have swim. Oh, I may as well. 
See, this is where Nitro Boost helps a lot. Oh, I have double jump still. <laughs> Did I, like, pick up double jump somewhere? No, I'm... It's costing Geo. Okay, see ya, Carter. Thank you for hanging out. <clears throat> Let's kill Zero while I'm here. <laughs> yep, and the vessels get the zoomies too. I watched some like Netflix documentary. Documentary? I don't know if that's the right word. About cats a couple days ago. And they have like some technical term for when cats like get super hyper before they go to sleep like at certain times throughout the day so there is a uh, real terminology for that what about corb i've killed corb the zoomies yeah <laughs> yeah the zoomies is the technical term true what what the heck hit me Or for some the newmies. <laughs> Zero, my favorite dream warrior. Yeah, you didn't really get to enjoy the fight. <laughs> Loris blessing. Wait, which one is this? These charms are really cute. Massively, oh. You deal way more damage, but if you get hit, the charm breaks. I feel like that's like if someone wants to do a speed run with this uh, mod, they could maybe throw that on and just lose every run <laughs> or, or just kill everything. No, I've, I've been C dashing up. That's uh, part of the skill upgrades mod. So you can just. Oops. So let, let me move a bit more to the right. You can C dash up. And also, I have a charm called Nitro Boost that makes me C dash very quickly. So. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Juicy Fruit donated one dollar and ninety-nine cents. Hey, oh, fire. Uh, C dash up here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Juicy Fruit. Thank you very much. Did I get that bench? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, these new randomizer mods are pretty busted. But I like it because typically toward the end of randomizer runs, it gets really boring, honestly. So just like having some shit to break the game at the end is always a lot of fun. Hope maybe Gray Mourner would fix it for you. Oh yeah, there is a, there is a way to fix the charm just outside of Gray Mourner's house. Which is like right beside a bench if you have bench warp. You have an idea for a challenge. What is it? Lay it on me, Noah. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to go to the right. Where the hell am I going? C dash only. You start with C dash and claw, but you can't walk. <laughs> I love it. No, I hate it. I'm sorry. That sounds horrible. 
Oh my god, Grimchild saved the shit out of me. So do you mean, like, you'd have to kill enemies with C-Dash as well? Because if so, that's like super cursed. If you just have to move around with C-Dash, okay, that's still really cursed. Because you can't kill enemies with C-Dash if you can't, like, move normally. So... <clears throat> and you also can't fight enemies if you can't move <laughs> normally. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you abused spells... Could you start with Nitro, too? <laughs> well, then it would just be easy. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I only get three? It, I thought it would give me the whole row, but I only get these three because it's connected to this one. Kill two different maggots? Wait, what counts as a maggot? Check Joni's Blessing. Oh, I've done that. Right? It's a Geo Rock. Splash the NPC in the Colosseum's hot spring. Well, I'm pretty close to that. <clears throat> Check deep focus. I could also get there pretty quickly. Charged Lumafly journal entry. Do I have that? That is a rando check, I think. Oh, I have it. <clears throat> okay. So we got another goal. Talk to Mask Maker, kill an Iluba, slash two Shade Gates. I'm like right beside a Shade Gate. Okay, sorry, I haven't been reading chat. I guess there would be an option to kill them with C Dash or not. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I've slashed one Shade Gate. Where's the closest other one? Probably the green path? Uh, there's the one here. So I could go down from Stone Sanctuary. That's, yeah, that's really close. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fog Canyon. I think I said Green Path, didn't I? No eyes, C dash percent. No, people haven't done. Oh, oops. People haven't done that many C dash only boss challenges. Where am I going? But, like, I'm pretty sure someone did... Did someone do NKG? Crystal Dash only? Because, like, if you hit an enemy with the back part of C-Dash, it deals, like, one damage or something. It might, might be more than that. Scurry uses they them pronouns. But, yeah, we do need Scurry for that. Didn't Benji do that? <laughs> I would believe it if Benji did that, for sure. And hey, Ro. Hope you're doing well. It's 1.30 a.m. in my area. I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, uh, Rachi. <clears throat> All the best to you, too. Thanks a lot for the support and for hanging out. Uh, slash two shade gates. Oh, defeat Mantis Lords. That's pretty easy. Retta, yes. Honestly, I when, when I said it, I thought of Benji too. I just kind of associate Benji with those kinds of challenges. Oh, I have Dash Master.
Wait. <laughs> I always have wings when I need it. <laughs> I'm like, I need wings to get past this spot. No, I, I just have it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Like, what are the odds that I have wings at any given point? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have levers randomized. Oops. Let me get this check. I just <laughs> I trap myself. Come on, give me wings. Give me wings. Give me wings. How can I? Oh, I can just warp back up. <laughs> All good. The game recognized that I didn't need wings. Didn't need to give it to me. <laughs> okay, let's go kill Mantis Lords. Oh, I should have C dashed to the left. I can still get the lifeblood core check though. Because I have vertical C dash. Four hits. What charms do I have equipped? <laughs> wow. Okay. Defeated Mantis Lords. Okay, this is like I'm just breezing through everything. <laughs> it start it just feels way too easy now. <laughs> Buy out Salubra. Okay, Watcher Knights is the easiest goal here for sure. Is that all lems? How many relics do I have now? I have eight, twelve, thirteen. Uh I think Chaos Orb gave me Strength. Or maybe Chaos Orb gave me Florist Blessing, and I didn't realize it because I didn't get hit. I don't know what Florist Blessing does. It just increases the nail damage somehow, but it might be like a multiplier. So. Because Mantis Lords have like 200 something HP, right? I don't know. So they should take a lot more hits than that. <laughs> the final blow was Crystal Heart. <laughs> Getting that swag ending. Oh, I can unequip Dung uh, Defender's Crest now. Why am I saying Dung Defender's Crest? Oh, Weaver Song is free. I should just equip that normally. Oh, it's not free. It was free because it was through the Chaos Orb. <laughs> Mm, I could unequip quick focus and use strength. Yeah, let's do that. The stream's been pretty fun. Um, I think using skill upgrades... Oh, I have snail soul on. I think using skill upgrades might have made things a bit too easy. <laughs> but it's been fun either way. Like, I, I literally, I think it was 15 minutes ago I had two goals, maybe like 20 minutes ago, and now I'm most of the way through the board, <laughs> so. <laughs> I, 
I guess that's just kind of like a consequence of having the map opened up and having a lot of progression. And you can you can get goals without realizing that you have them. Just because the goals get revealed as you go. But yeah, oops. <laughs> I'm at uh, row 13. And I was at row 3 before. Hmm. May as well do this check while I'm here. Yeah, I finally got a dreamer. I I guess I don't know if I have to get an ending uh, for the final row. I've never looked at what the final rows are. I I knew I would do that. <laughs> Let's just take the elevator. Uh, so there's I think 20 rows total. So I'm over halfway through. probably isn't worth the time. I just got to the point where Alan adds hope to your PDA, cutest thing I've ever seen. You're talking about below zero? Because I, I, I don't remember shit about that game. <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, I. That's that's a goal. Yeah. Let's mark that down. So I could do talk to Bardoon, but then I'd only get two goals in the next row. Check slash free all grabs and crossroads plus fog canyon. I've done the fog canyon one. Obtain long nail or mark of bride. Oh, I have neither. Right. Hey, Leogi. Nonsense is going pretty well. <laughs> it is very goofy. How are you doing? Uh, talk to Bardoon would be easiest. Hmm. I just don't want to get screwed over with like two really hard goals. Uh, getting the grub spots in Crossroads because it's a rando. It's the grub spots that would count. Uh, no, this is the pyramid version. Oh, I have to take this elevator. <laughs> it's the pyramid version, but, um, like, once you get to nine goals, uh, it just, like, is nine goals the whole way through. I think you'd get two goals if you choose Bardoon because there's only two goals that are adjacent to that square. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a lower tablet. I always forget about that. Doing good, just finish up our first D&D session. Oh nice. Is that the one that everyone was organizing in the Discord? Hope it went well. Pale ore, I will take that. Yep. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. How many rows do you need to complete? I think it's 20. Cactus is the DM. That's awesome. Hope you y'all had a good time. Oops. Okay. So... I can get all the grubs and crossroads, or the grub spots, rather. How many have I already done? Have I done all of them? I might have done all of them. So I got the one... I got the one 
before Fog Canyon. I got the one above Ancestral Mound. I got the one that's... Um, that's a Mask Shard. I got the one near the Stag Station. I got the one above Crystal Peak. I got all of them, right? Where's the fifth one? Okay, so one, two, uh, oh yeah, it's beside the tram. Yeah, I got all of them. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have, I have all of the drops for this. Spend 5,000 Geo, I've got that, but do I want to check that? I have... Defeat Vengefly King and Massive Moss Charger. So I could do that, right? I do have Vengefly King and... Yeah, Vengefly King is dead. Massive Moss Charger is also dead. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep clicking the goals. Obtain Monomon. I've also got that. That's my only dreamer. All right. We're just going to click off all the goals until the end right now. It is Monomon that I have, right? Can anyone confirm? Can I see it in my menu anywhere? Yeah, it's Monomon. Okay. I was pretty sure that was the case. Uh, do 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 do. All right. Read the Dung Defender sign before Isma's Grove. Um, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds easy-ish to do. Parry Revic three times without dying. Hmm. Obtain Hive Blood or Sharp Shadow. Done. I've actually just got everything. Visit Soul Sanctum or Royal Waterways. Obtain Shade Soul. Done. Defeat Corb. Done. Read both lore tablets in Mendes Village. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can't even see because it's... Let me... Sorry, let me adjust the bingo sheet. Just so you know I'm not cheating. So this is the path. And the final goal... is oops read both lore tablets in mantis village <laughs> i think this format would be probably hmm, better suited for non-randomizer perhaps but it's okay <laughs> I have to do lore. Yeah, that's painful. Very unfortunate. So I have to go to Mantis Village. Uh, Bretta. You hover over your meter in the middle of your spells. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Damn. Leogi with the knowledge. Thank you. I had... I had no idea that was a thing. Well, <laughs> I've only been streaming for two hours and 40 minutes, so mm, maybe, maybe we do an ending just for fun. Otherwise, it feels like I'm cheating everyone out of content. <laughs> Oh, I, I got that. <laughs> yeah, that is really useful to know. <laughs> Mossback didn't like that. Mossback will remember this. Uh, so... Where's my double jump? Come on, game. So, what lore tablets? <laughs> I mean, 
this might be the hardest goal yet, because where the hell are these lore tablets? Was one of them the check to the uh, left? Because <laughs> I, I think I, I think I got at least one of them, and then there's yeah, then there's the other one. So it's both lore tablets and Mantis Village. Okay, that's just Geo. I think. I think I have them already, don't I? This is. Oh my god. Oh, I got the hazard respawn. Okay, that's a lever. <laughs> that's not a lore tablet. <laughs> Yo, hey Julia. Thanks so much for becoming a legend. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Wonder why that notification didn't show up. Okay, so there's a Lord tablet here, right? Entrance to the village. Oh, so that's to the right. I must have got that then. Wait. Oh yeah, it's it's up and to the right, right? It's like straight up and right from where I am. I think. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a member too. YouTube is weird. Okay, so <laughs> I've got all the bingo goals. This is the other lore tablet, right? All right. Roguelike bingo is completed. But should probably also get an ending because it feels kind of cheesy to not get one although it could take forever what do i do we can just go through areas with like a lot of checks i still don't have like legit vertical movement <laughs> which is kind of messed up it's probably somewhere that's in logic so there's not that many spots left. I could go through QGA, I guess. Uh, sign the endings and number and pick one randomly. Oh no, I'm I'm going through for the basic ending. I want to finish tonight. <laughs> what if I get God Home ending? And this this happens ouch. This happens every time, but whenever I go for any percent ending, I just end up getting uh true endings conditions first. So I end up doing it all anyway, so I almost have enough eggs for dive. Like not quite enough, but I probably should have just went to Leg Eater's bench. How about chat pick some goals for you to do? No, thank you. <laughs> that is a recipe for disaster. Although I asked for like goals for bingo. Uh, like I remember I made a form for it a while back and people thought they were giving me evil goals. Like they were probably like cackling to themselves while they were writing all of it. It wasn't that bad. Like, you gotta try a little bit harder, you know? <laughs> oh, I... Why am I here? <laughs> um... Why? Well, okay, let's just warp back to the bench. <laughs> They're like, do NKG with no spells. <laughs> I'm like, alright. <laughs> that's... That's not that hard for me. <laughs> Like, keep in mind, I've been playing this game for thousands of hours. Yeah, complete Pantheon 5 without dying or something like that. I'm like, oh no, that's that's just terrifying. How am I ever going to complete that goal? 
<laughs> Humble brag, yep. <laughs> you know me. You know I love the humble brags. No walking only C dash. That's not happening. <laughs> that one maybe you need to submit uh something through the form. Like you you have an evil mind. And I mean that in the best way possible, of course. Yeah, yeah, people don't usually use many spells on NKG. When when I saw speedrunners using spells on NKG for the first time, I was like, damn, you can do this fight so much faster with spells. But typically you just like slap NKG with the nail once or twice for every attack that the boss does. Any radiance, all bindings. <laughs> People actually thought about that, and it's like realistically not really doable. Like, if you think about it, you kind of you kind of need a uh, Balder shell. And having a health binding on top of it. Like, you need Balder Shell if you have two hits before you die, for sure. Right? Where am I going? I'm just going like the casual route through here, right? Like the any percent NMG route. That's not the casual route, is it? Yeah, exactly. Spells during the balloon phase. That is busted. Oops, what am I doing? Bingo idea. Play the Roblox Hollow Knight thingy for 100 hours. No, thank you. I will just admit defeat. I don't think I would play that for one hour. <laughs> like, you'd, you'd struggle to convince me to. There's a reason why it only got an honorable mention in my top 10 Hollow Knight mods video. <laughs> And it was mostly just for the memes. Bingo idea, make your own mod. No. <laughs> I can barely even program. Get the Hungry Night world record. Okay, that sounds... Actually, I don't know how optimized that is. Probably not very, but probably optimized enough to be pretty time consuming still. <laughs> and that game seems really random too. Oh, Great Slash, finally. <laughs> We've got the Great Slash Shockwave. That was like one of the first things we found is the skill upgrade for Great Slash. It's just like a giant elegy type thing. Bingo idea. Compliment every grub you <laughs> every grub you see. Hmm. Okay. Now now it's getting too evil. Like you you gotta take my feelings into account here. <laughs> Doesn't Scurry hold the world record for Hungry Night? I'm not sure. I think Scurry. Might have had it at one point. I doubt there's many other people running it. So, I don't know if anyone would have taken it, but maybe one of Scurry's viewers. It's 
So I saw the escape from Abyss, but I missed the Path of Pain one. The Path of Pain one was, like, not a real challenge run. The Or the, the Abyss one wasn't a real challenge run. It was just kind of a joke. Because I, I, you have invincibility while you're in the birthplace cutscene. So it's like, yeah, I can escape from 500 different enemies, but I also don't take damage. <laughs> the Path of Pain one was actually a challenge run, and it was... It's not like it was super hard, but it was challenging. Mainly because of the lag frames that you get constantly from, like, taking damage... It's pretty hard to do Path of Pain with all the lag from all the Primal Aspids. <laughs> that was the main challenge. Scurry Acid? Okay. So I kind of want to go around here and not do that. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Unless I don't have wings. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Mm. <sighs> well, Deep Nest has a lot of checks. I could just go into Deep Nest from the tram route. And I have... I have... Um, I have lantern, so it's not like it's going to be super annoying. Mm, but I feel like I should probably go to stuff that's in logic. Because that's probably where the vertical movement is. And having vertical movement would be quite nice. So I don't have to like do this awkward ass C dash everywhere. This is in logic, so I can go there. And that's that's multiple uh, items, multiple checks. Bingo idea, beat the game. <laughs> no, I cannot do that. Path of Pain with Primal Aspects was not that hard. If I had to do it without healing, that would be really tough. But the fact that you can kind of, like, damage tank makes it not too horrible. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I need to take the tram. I just forgot where I was. You just get the wings ability randomly? Yes. So, <laughs> I have a charm called Chaos Orb, which randomly gives me... Which gives me three random charm effects, which swap every 20 seconds or something. No, it doesn't tell me. And one of the new charms is Blue Moth Wings, which gives me double jumps, but each double jump costs 10 Geo. So that's why I'm randomly getting wings sometimes. There's also a like low gravity charm. Oh, King Soul. <laughs> I told you I would get True Ending. It's happening. I always get True Ending first. Like all the... I always get Void Heart first. Bingo idea. Fight every boss at once. These are like... These are mod ideas. <laughs> this is not a bingo idea. Good idea though, but... Lyra's awesome, but he's still limited by the controller he is using. <laughs> I don't know if that I don't know if that's the number one limitation that I have. My biggest limitation is probably energy. Being an old crotchety bastard. And time. And my hands being uh, you know the way that they are. <laughs> Okay, this is not doable. Mm. Should do God Home Ending. No. I am 
probably never going to do God Home Ending in a randomizer. Unless I... Maybe for like a subathon goal. Oh, that would be such a mistake though. Ugh. I just get the jars out of out of habit. The biggest limitation is yeah, you feel that. <laughs> I really want to get back into speedrunning and 8% NMG, but it's like... It's low return on investment for YouTube content. Like, I could make a video in the time I spend practicing to de-rust. And that video would probably perform way better than an any percent NMG stream. So it's like... And I also don't want to play Hollow Knight, like, in my free time. <clears throat> Not that I don't like the game. It's just I don't want to burn out on the game too much. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> but could we, could we get some dreamers, please, game? So I guess we're going for true ending. Yeah, burnout does suck. I want to just like work all day because I I do really love my work. <laughs> like I'm very lucky in that regard. But then if I do work all day, it's, it's a big mistake. It's just a geo rock. Oh, did I? Oh, I... Wait, 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 wait. There's two things that I missed on the way to Nosk. I, I intentionally missed one. Yeah, I would like, I would like a dreamer. Please, game. Or I would also take Mantis Claw. Is there something up here? No, this is the shortcut back. I'm gonna actually have to take a break soon because my back is kind of sore. I probably should stretch. What the heck? Gotta get that off the map so, so it doesn't, uh, like, distract me or, like, confuse me. Because I, I don't know where this other check is. Is it this? Oh, it's this. Ah, it's just lore. God. True hope. That's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to take a five-minute break. Maybe like a three minute break. I usually take one minute breaks, so. Uh, and I'm just going to stretch and then I'll be back and we will try to get an ending. <laughs> Maybe the game will give us a dreamer eventually. But yeah, thanks so much everyone for sticking around. I'll be back in just a few. Oops.
mark <clears throat> how's everyone doing I'm at the pool oh damn <clears throat> it's a funny story I moved into my new place and there's like a pool pretty close by a public um, like facility with a pool in it which is a pretty nice place but three days before I moved in they closed down for maintenance for like five months. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Nice timing. Where the hell am I? Oh, it's it's dark up here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Horrible timing. Uh, okay. Let me know if you can hear the fan. Hopefully not. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go through Fungal Core. 
Because there's a lot of checks um, <clears throat> up at the like entrance of Deep Nest over here that I should probably get through first, because that's like half the checks in Deep Nest. <clears throat> It would be nice because, like, one, I have, like, some slight knee problems. So, like, swimming would be a much better form of exercise for me than, like, anything, pretty much. <laughs> And I just want to improve, like, my swimming, because I'm a pretty bad swimmer. <laughs> I'm, like, forgetting where I'm going every two seconds. Hey, Cassandra. How you been doing? It's been a little while. So it means a lot of fun, yeah. I missed a Geo Rock. Oh yeah, I hope you get to uh, go for a swim too. That'll be nice. Something like that happened to me. I joined a running club, and a few weeks after I joined, they closed the track. Oh, God. It's like we're trying to make good choices for our bodies, but the universe doesn't want it to uh, happen. <laughs> I have actually been shaving some pounds, though. Down, like... Um, or in August, and I creatine loaded, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I I get so lost in this area. Good God, someday I'll like figure it out. <laughs> someday, maybe. So there's one more check. Over here? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. I can just see Dash. <laughs> kind of stuff happens to my family a lot. We move somewhere and things go into maintenance. We move away and it's all good. Oh no. Oh, extra air dash. Nice. That's pretty good. I'm moving cross-country in two days, college time. Oh, congrats, Cassandra. Hope you enjoy college. Good luck. Love swimming, wish I could get back into it. <clears throat> you should, if you can. It's definitely really good. Always feels so alien to me when someone says they can't swim. It's something it's uh, mandatory to learn here. Oh, really? That's crazy. We probably don't emphasize fitness enough in schools in Canada. We have pretty high obesity rates. <laughs> Although I guess that's a bit more to do with diet, but, you know. It's kind of related. <clears throat> Oops, I just fell through the transition. Oh, that's crazy, Marcus. Congrats. That is not easy get those kinds of numbers. Okay, 
this room is actually the worst, though. This room is worse than Fungal Core. I think I already... Did I miss oh, that relic? Or is that a secret one? Uh, where the hell am I? I've never been here in my life. Okay, there's one more thing over here. Oops. Oops. Yeah, honestly, I just... I don't like how that kind of food makes me feel. It's not even about, like, uh... Like, losing weight or anything for me, necessarily. Like, obviously I love, like, potato chips and shit, but... I try to limit it. Okay. <laughs> did I get everything? Yes, I did. Okay, that's... It's probably the fastest I've completed this room in a rando. There was nothing there. What? <laughs> was that a ch charm effect? I have no idea. Need to get back into fencing for physical activity. The clubhouse didn't close down during the pandemic. It's since opened back up, but I haven't had time to go back. Yeah, I hope you're able to start up with that again. It sounds really fun. I've never, never tried fencing, but it sounds super dope. Oh, I hope you can figure things out, Cinders. Hey, Lisa. The run is going well. I've completed the bingo. Uh, <coughs> the bingo section, bingo board. Um, but I'm going to go for an ending. And I have... Holy shit, that one's zooming. I have, um... I have Voidheart, and I have one Dreamer out of three. Which is Monomon. So I need two more Dreamers. I still don't have, like, legit vertical movement, which is wild. That's, like, really bad luck, I would say. To not have vertical movement at this point. But I mean, luckily I can just C dash anywhere. I need. I haven't got the stupid, super broken C dash in Oranto yet. I wonder if that's like banned or something. How they recommend fencing if you ever get the chance. I wonder if there's anywhere that does it here. Where the heck is that Geo? Oops. But you had to live in Deep Nest or the Abyss. Which would you choose? The Abyss. Easy. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a double grub spot. I could dash slash them. But that's okay. Not worth the time. Love to try out pole. It should be really good fitness. Yeah, I imagine you get like a crazy core workout doing pole. I'm glad I decided to play with the skill upgrades. <laughs> the old scrub man. Um, okay. So yeah, now that I've got everything up there, I can just go down. I can just warp to the spot bench, right? Yeah. Then I can go to the left. 
<clears throat> There's a lot of checks in the room outside of Weaver's, uh, Weaver's Den. And there's also a lot of checks in Distant Village. Not sure if I'll be able to get all the way through. Probably should be able to, but... We will see. Um, might need to like damage tank and then pogo. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Well, I'll have to get that later, I guess. Unless I get, I don't have wings. That's okay. Fun and you get to stab your friends. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> now, if this is a dreamer, then that's perfect. What do we got? Don't get me excited over nothing game. <laughs> Alright, we finally got legit vertical. You know there's a hole in the bottom of that spike pit. Wait, what? So, wh why does everything have the red border? Does anyone know that? Oh, I missed two, two Geo Rocks. Hey, Fibrin. Thank you for the uh, good luck. Ouch. Wait, so, where's the other Georock? Look away for one minute and we get Claw. Hell yeah. I, where's the Georock? Am, <laughs> am I stupid? Don't answer that, by the way. Okay, see you real. Good luck making food. God, I kind of want to play Cult of the Lamb after this, but my back hurts. <laughs> so. I, I did um, core exercises yesterday, and I I did the standing twist with weights, and I think I twisted a little bit too much. Like, not a lot, but a little bit. But I do want to play. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Cinders. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you think so. Uh, okay, so I have to do this for the relic check. But does anyone know where that geo rock is? Like, did I don't think I've missed a geo rock in that location before? So I, I I'm just confused. Everywhere and nowhere. That's, that's how it seems, but... I'm glad y'all like it too. It's a really fun game. Um, although I played most of it offline. Like, I just did one or two streams. And then I was like, <laughs> I just want to keep playing this without streaming. Because I do like to have, you know, a game to just, like, decompress with... And I also find that if I stream casual games, then I don't have the energy to, like, make as much Hollow Knight content.
Okay, Carter. Hope you have a good time. God, that's so fast. Uh, Zot is not a check. It's like there's a relic after Zot that is a check. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, so the path to Gellion's down here. I'm <laughs> just like forgetting the map. I really hope that Georock isn't something important. Oh. Wow, Mantis Claw again. That's where the Mantis Claw dupe is. So that means you probably have to get, um, like in the logic, you probably have to get um, wings first somewhere to get Mantis Claw. So that's evil. Ouch. Kind of typical from randomizers, though. Uh, have I dream nailed Marissa yet? Not yet. I haven't been there, so. Galleon got absolutely destroyed. A dropped croissant donated one dollar and ninety nine cents. Hello, I've never caught a stream before. How be? I be pretty well. Thanks a lot, dropped croissant. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. You have a very interesting name. If I uh, dropped a croissant, I would probably be very upset. There's a bakery near my new place that makes some crazy good croissants. Oh my god, those croissants are amazing. And if I dropped one, holy shit, I would, I would cry. <clears throat> you almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> Be careful with those. <laughs> oh, hey, Blue. Hey, everyone. How's it going? I'm sorry you can't chat on YouTube. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. Did your runs go all right, Blue? Are you actually learning the new um, reroute? Because that's pretty cool, if so. So I just did a um, roguelike bingo, but it's... The bingo board is finished, so <laughs> let me just show the bingo board real quick. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, here it is. So the bingo board, you start off like all the way... Oops, I have to get it back by uncropping it. So you start all the way at the top, and you have to uncover goals. <clears throat> and just progress down the board. Like initially you can't see any goals. So once you get a tile that's adjacent to other goals, you uncover them so you can see what they actually are and you just have to progress down the board to reach the bottom. So it's a pretty cool concept, but we're already done with the bingo board. So I'm just trying to beat the game. Can you believe it? I finally succumbed to the 1.5 patch and learned all the reroutes. Hell yeah. That's awesome. 
I feel like learning fluke, like use, learning how to use fluke nest is a lot to learn after you've like spent so much time on the Pantheons already. Yeah, it is really cool. True to call it three today, but I'm getting the hang of it. Oh shit, you have to use Fluke Nest for the Kalos as well? Or did you just throw, like, with normal charm setups? We don't do Flukes... what? We don't do Flukes, Pantheons, or Kalos? Okay, I need to actually check the route out, because I have no idea what's going on in that route. <laughs> Oh, you got frogged. God, understandable. <clears throat> Maybe I'll check out Valley's analysis. Who <laughs> finally succumbed to peer pressure. Yeah, the first two goals were hard, and I finished the rest in like 25 minutes. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, let me check this Whispering Roots. Do I have Dreamgate? Oh, I don't. Hey, Azura. The rando is going pretty well. I've completed the bingo sheet. And by the way, the artwork on the new charms is super nice. Sira is the one who did all of this. At least I think it's all of it. Oh, God. So, really well done on that. Lots of really cool artwork. This one looks kind of like Quick Focus, but it's... I love the border on it. It looks really nice. Uh, the mod is Transcendence. Blue, you need to try it out. Transcendence is an awesome mod. It's a lot of fun. It's also pretty busted, but... That's okay. Thank you. Really appreciate, like, anyone who does work for the community like that. It's awesome. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot the Geo Rock. <laughs> I always forget this one. like a lot of overworld fights that save time. Oh, okay. Nosk, Watchers, and White Defender. Gotcha. Oh, he did all of them? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's it's really broken. Um, my favorite is... Oh, I don't even have it equipped. Shaman App. This is the best one, because it makes your spells bigger. Oh, I do have it equipped. Oh, it's because of Chaos Orb. This one makes your spells bigger based off how much Geo you're holding. <laughs> so, like, obviously, eventually you just get a ton of Geo and your spells are enormous. I missed that one Soul Totem. Oops. Let me go back and get that, because I don't want to have to come back here. Yeah, Pimpus did an awesome job. And it's like fully integrated with randomizer, so if you turn it on, then all the charms get randomized. Otherwise, they're placed into like um, specific spots in the world. So there's like uh, placements if you're just playing like vanilla Hollow Knight. Well, it wouldn't be that vanilla, but you know, not randomizer. Oh, you find Snail Soul to be stronger? Shaman Amp... Mm, it's really nice with Shade Soul because of how many times it can hit. I have to give Snail Soul a try, though. I haven't played with it too much. Okay, I'm gonna check up here first. What does Marissa's audience do? I think it, like, doubles the amount of pets that you can have. 
So like if you're using pet charms, you'll just get more pets. Yeah, there is a cap to the size of the spells, but it's really, really big. I used a mod um, called Lore Master with um, Transcendence, and there's an effect with Lore Master that increases the size of your spells too. So my Abyss Shriek was like literally probably a full screen length above me. It was it was pretty good. I didn't I didn't leak any details. <laughs> Just that it's evil, which is something you can expect because it's they're Hollow Knight mods, so And I'm also wearing Chaos Orb, so that just gives me three random charm effects, which like rotate out every 30 seconds or so. <clears throat> That's why I'm just getting these like random effects. Oh, there's nothing for me to pogo. <laughs> Is there a check here? Yes. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense, McKelly. I think I've always had like level two spells by the time I get it, so I haven't noticed that. But I guess if you have like Vengeful Spirit, it could be a little bit annoying. <laughs> and grub has been moved. I kind of want this to end. <laughs> you don't have to watch. <laughs> I, get, I get what you're saying, though. But um, Oh! Vanilla Hera. What the hell is the chance of that? It's like one in 500. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Get the grub? You should have seen it earlier, Sira. There was a double grub location. You can probably guess what happened. Mod idea, watch your nights three times all at once. <laughs> Uh, the modding community is one step ahead of you. There are... there's a mod that adds, um, six times, ten times, uh, I think fourteen and... wait, what is it? I forget what the numbers are, but there's like three or four different settings, and it goes up to sixteen Watcher Knights at once. Why are you still here just to suffer? <laughs> Ah. That's what we love about Hollow Knight, so we gotta make sure y'all suffer a little bit while you watch. Mm, okay, so where is a lot of checks? Soul Sanctum has a lot. Could go to Soul Sanctum. Ah, I really hope one of these isn't a Dreamer. There is one Dreamer dupe, so... This is the double grubs, by the way. You know, I think I have that bench, so maybe I should just go down and check. That's so many watchers. <laughs> I have a video of doing, I think it's the 12 watchers at once setting. Radiant. Without dive. That was a really fun one. And it was
was actually pretty, pretty hard, I would say. Oh wait, did I pass the Geo Rock already? Yes, I did. <laughs> Oops. How about Watcher Knights, but Radiant Snails falling from the sky? Primacon became a legend. Yo, Primacon. <laughs> Thanks so much for becoming a legend. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Hey, Primacon. Welcome. For anyone who got uh, membership today, you can also get like a colored name and some stuff in the Discord if you connect your YouTube account to your Discord account. Just an FYI, you don't have to, but... Okay, so I think I'll go to Soul Sanctum. I do have the Toll Bench, so... Snail Soul is cracked against Watcher Knights. <laughs> I think I have it, right? Do I? Oh, maybe I don't. Marissa's audience for one. That's actually probably not worth. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Maybe it's worth. I don't know. Could be worth with like a Grub Song Weaver Song build. Because that, like, that's a pretty useful pet build, but probably the only useful pet build. But yeah, you could you could do that uh, Watcher Knights challenge. Um, there's not a mod that adds Radiance Nails, but there's one that adds Radiance Orbs that constantly come at you. So that's doable for sure. Yo, Jongo. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the support. Yeah, you can... Oh, <laughs> I'm getting more true ending stuff. Not that I need it. You can uh, definitely... Add some Radiance Flare to uh, different boss fights. You'd use the additional challenges mod. I think that's what it's called. I should know because I commissioned it. and help out Primacon. Glad you've been enjoying the streams. <clears throat> Do you prefer nail builds or spell builds? I guess I prefer spell builds. <clears throat> but I really like using Quick Slash, so... <laughs> I don't know. It's just... My, my favorite thing is like the any percent NMG setup where it's just Vengeful Spirit with Shaman Stone. I think that's like the most fun Hollow Knight build for me. Just because you have like enough limitations that holy crap, it's a huge nail slash. You have enough limitations that you don't feel like super overpowered. Like if I have Descending Dark, I feel really, really overpowered. But you also kind of need that for some boss fights in the game. So, I don't know. Like a Absolute Radiance with the any percent NMG setup. Probably wouldn't be that fun. But doing the any percent NMG bosses with that setup is a lot of fun. The 
something that Meg and I talked about a little bit is like a lot of the bosses in Hollow Knight are actually more fun with minimal setups, at least for us being like pretty experienced with the game. Like if you do Lost Skin with um, like just Shade Soul, for example, it's a lot more fun with than Lost Skin with Descending Dark because you ch you approach the fight so differently. Like with D-Dark, you can pretty much stun lock the boss, so it kind of trivializes the fight. If you know how to do it, anyway. Whereas with Shade Soul or Vengeful Spirit, you actually have to like interact and react to what interact with the boss and like react to what it's doing a whole lot more. Soulmaster, but you have to kill him from under the arena. <laughs> God. Fun fact, Snail Nail is modeled after Life Ender. Oh, like Soap Sword? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I have enough eggs for Dive. I could use dive <laughs> for sure. Um, I still don't have Dreamgate, do I? I probably shouldn't have come to Sanctum yet. Mm, let's go get dive. Do you think Team Cherry should have nerfed D Dark? It's kind of tough to say because, like, the way you use the spell in a casual playthrough, it's going to be very different from how people use it for, like, speedruns and stuff. You know? That kind of goes for spells in general. That's why I'm not allowed to say anything, but I played a certain sponsored game, which is about to be, like, the video is going to be released soon. And they have a system that's very similar to the soul system, but it lets you actually cast spells without preventing you from healing. That's all I'll say about that. Because I am under contract not to say things. <laughs> and it's really good. So if Hollow Knight had that kind of system, I think you could make spells a bit more balanced without worrying about people never using them because they feel too weak. But I think they kind of made spells pretty powerful because they knew that people would be healing a lot in their casual playthroughs. <clears throat> There's lore there, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to return, I think. It is not Raid Shadow Legends, I can say that much. So I'm gonna go back to Sanctum. Cause I... <clears throat> I can get through Sanctum pretty quickly. I don't know why, but I had oats and it just made me like really gassy. <laughs> Usually oats do not make me gassy. Um... Keep trying to rush you and you die. Oh. There are some like fundamentals with Umu that if you know them, it'll really help out a lot. Like, um, if you're talking about any percent NMG, you really just want to focus on luring Umu into the middle big platform. That should be your number one focus, and like Dreamnail Umu 
as it kind of like focus a lot on dream nail spacing like spacing yourself so that uh the dream nail will hit umu at the end of its movement those are the most important things to focus on i think and if you get good at dream nailing without getting hit then you can use that soul to heal up in case you need to And I'd also kind of recommend oh, learning to do Umu without damage tanking, because if you're dying a lot, then damage tanking is not ideal. Damage tanking is not necessary, really. I find it can make it like a little bit easier if you're not worried about dying, specifically. Am I in the any percent tourney? Nope. I, uh, I didn't want to commit to it, and I'm glad I didn't, because I haven't played any percent since my last BB. And the last thing I'd want to do is, like, force myself, because that's when I, like, super burn out and just completely quit. From... I know that from personal experience. The last any percent NMG tourney just completely killed my motivation to play the category. It ended up being pretty awesome, but <laughs> there was there was a price to pay for that. And if I participated now, I would definitely lose. So I'd rather keep my 100% win rate. <laughs> Do I have Snail Soul on? Oh yeah, I'm getting tons of soul. <laughs> that happens to a ton of people with all skills. It seemed like that tourney went on for like ages. Is that tourney going on for like a year or something? Like, it's, it's definitely cool how it motivates people to play and improve their times, but... Kind of thing also has its downsides. Pleasure House might be a good place to go next. And I can take care of some other business while I'm there. Way too long, yep. Like a tournament. Did I not get Gorgeous Husk? I didn't get this grub. Oh, I have wings. I haven't been using wings because I forgot I even picked it up. Oh, I, got, I did do Gorgeous Husk. Okay. Okay. I always get confused with these doorways. If not for the tournament, I would have never tried for sub hour, but I was also so happy when I got eliminated. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Understandable. Even in the any percent tournament, it wasn't that long. But like, I went into each match like, either I win or I don't have to play this anymore. <laughs> like, I don't have to go through the tournament anymore. So it's a win-win, really. There's one more thing, right? No, oh, maybe not.
Nice. I'm glad you're happy with your time. Two for two this weekend. Mm, could go through Kingdom's Edge. There's a lot of checks in Kingdom's Edge. I'll start from the tram. <laughs> Poor Marissa. What do you mean? What do you mean? Marissa gets to sleep. Imagine just singing all the time. That would be exhausting. <laughs> no, this one. One more. One more to go. Oh, I didn't get that grub. Well, I can do it later. Or the grub check. Yeah, for sure, Remicon. If you have anything specific that you struggle with, feel free to ask about it. Fire, I'm already exhausted. If I don't get to sing, I'm also just bored. <laughs> Understandable, I guess. Exactly, she can finally rest besides she's already dead. Uh, Speedrunner versus Hunters is kind of like a stale concept right now. Like, I can definitely do more videos, but they're all going to be the exact same thing. And I know that because I've recorded <clears throat> probably three or four games for every one that I release. So I know when every single game is the exact same, that's probably not going to be fun if I make more videos on it, unfortunately. And I also got good enough at it that <clears throat> um, there was like a big experience gap between myself and the Hunters. Unfortunately, like, I I could make it easier for hunters, like I could give them bigger advantages, but it would kind of get frustrating at some point. And honestly, like, on YouTube, people tend not to enjoy the games where I lose, being completely honest. Like... <laughs> I'd always read the comments, people would just like complain, like, this is super cheap if I die. And it's true, like, because I have a huge experience advantage over the hunters, like, I have to give them unfair advantages for them to be able to win most of the time. There was a time when I played against, like, Hunt Hustle and Cactus and Gwonky and one other person, I forget. And I got, like, I played amazing, and I got owned. So I just, like, didn't release that video. Because, like, I think it's kind of not fun to watch someone just get owned the whole time. I kind of want to pull up that recording and make shorts from it, though, because I was, like, I was going off at some points. But yeah, it's, like, it's just kind of, I think it's a stale concept that needs something extra to be enjoyable. That's amazing chicken and bacon poutine. Hell yes. Nice. Just thinking back to the one time we had no clue where you were, but I somehow predicted it all. <laughs> you were, like, super on point with that. But I think it's... I think it's just, like, really difficult for hunters. And if there's, like, any miscommunication at all, then hunters can just, like, be thrown off the entire time. Like, if, if hunters, like, miss an ability, for example, that I picked up, then you can just, like, not know where I am for the rest of the game. Which is part of the fun for the viewers, but, like, for the hunters, it's like... <laughs> I know some people definitely got frustrated with that kind of thing. 
They just spend like, you know, in the edited video, it's like 10 minutes of hunters being confused. But in reality, it's like 45 minutes of hunters being confused. And that's sometimes not very fun. Yeah, it really is like a delicate balance. Exactly. I I've tried that, Cinders, and it's impossible. Like, <laughs> you just have to camp somewhere and hope to kill all of them as they come. It's like really, really hard because you can't track multiple people. So you can't like, you, you have to put them on your map for it to work. And because you have to spend time getting to players, you have to have a huge advantage once you get to them. So it's like kind of unfair for them. And it's also unfair for you at the same time. So it's like, It is a cool idea, though. Like, we, we tried it out because it sounded really fun, but it didn't end up being too fun in practice. I do have another concept that I just came up with a couple days ago for, like, Hollow Knight multiplayer, and it's a very cool concept. We'll see if it actually works out in practice. Okay, I got everything in the hive. Yep, exactly. Just gotta try things out and see if they are fun. I think the speedrunner versus hunter's concept is good. It's just like... There is, in my opinion, a pretty clearly defined meta. Which is like... Get, get dive. Or get nail master's glory. And one of the big problems is that there's not that much people can actually do if you go for Nail Master's Glory. Like, there's not much counterplay to that. And if you do pull off getting D Dark, then you just win. So. Although, I think if Hunters were really good at catching dive startup uh, frames, then. It might not be as overpowered. Oh my god. I'm getting so much stuff. That it might not be as overpowered as it currently is. I don't know. Oh, I'm glad you like those videos, Primacon. I'm gonna make another tier list video sometime. <laughs> I'm gonna use the poll results to make a tier list for the best places to live in Hollow Nest. It's going to be fun, I think. Freshly made pad thai. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Sounds awesome. Yeah, I agree, Sierra. It is... It's so hard to, like, make it fun and, like, feel balanced for everyone. Uh, okay, there's a lot of stuff in waterways and junk pits, so I can get that after Kingdom's Edge. Do a grub tier list. It's going to be one of those meme tier lists where they're all F. <clears throat> yeah, you'd, you have to react to, like, not the startup frames of dive, but, like, just kind of... I guess it's not a reaction, really. Unless you react to, like, the jump to dive, I guess. more like a prediction. You mean S? <laughs> Not in my tier list. Speedrunner versus Hunters for Randomizer. A lot of people suggested that, but it kind of... Yeah. There's no meta. There's no, like, predicting where the speedrunner will go. <laughs> So, ultimately, it kind of takes everything good about Speedrunner versus Hunters out. Yeah. 
I wanted to do speedrunner versus hunters in the pantheons, but it ends up being too difficult to fight bosses while fighting hunters at the same time. I tried it versus two players who are both like, I don't want to say beginners, but they're not like super experienced players and they absolutely owned me. So I'm like, this, <laughs> this concept's probably not going to work. Maybe if it was like a one one v one, but even then it might be hard. Oh, sorry, I, I missed your Chenko going grocery shopping. Good luck grocery shopping if you're still here. <laughs> yeah, I know those. That, Speedrunner versus Hunter videos are definitely like my most successful videos. <clears throat> I wanted the Battle Royale concept to work out better than it did. The thing is that like um, the modder who was working on it kind of burned out. So I think that if it were like more polished, it could be really good. It's just like that kind of thing is a lot of programming work. So, Dreamgate. Nice. <laughs> I was actually just thinking I need Dreamgate right here. So I can Dreamgate right, right in this very spot. Should do a Pantheon run where each boss is just a different speedrunner. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny, actually. I know it was a lot of fun to just like pick up all the items. Oh shit, I I hate when I fake dive these. And then some bastard, aka me, every time would have spore shroom and just <laughs> spore shroom the circle. But like if you made the circle progression like such that Oh, shit. Such that the circle doesn't immediately become super tiny, then Spore Shroom isn't as bad, right? Because the, the problem was that the circle would immediately just become, like, nothing. It should, like, progress to that super small state, like, pretty slowly. It should, like go down to a kind of small circle, like encompassing just like an area, and then very slowly shrink until it gets to the tiniest size. And there should be actual rewards for killing people so that people want to fight before they get to that tiny circle. Sport Shroom is... Yeah, it's totally fucked. <laughs> ah, I loved it. Oops. I remember back in the day, sub-32 speedruns seemed impossible, but then it was achieved. Well, it's not achieved yet. Sub-33 was achieved. Um, I, th I thought sub-33 would be impossible at one point as well. But I think Pest... Yeah, Pest was the first person to get a 32. And... He was, like, so dominant for a long time. Like, the most dominant runner by far, easily. Hey, Ruby. Thank you for the good luck. It's just... <laughs> Pest held world record for 25 months in that category. 25 months. And it's a popular run. Like, it's the, the most popular Hollow Knight run. And I, I don't think Pest, like, <laughs> gets enough credit for how... Did I miss something? Don't tell me I missed something. It looks like I missed two things. <laughs> no. Pest doesn't get enough credit. He was so far ahead of his time compared to, like, other runners. 
had a stroke trying to understand what you mean. I'm just babbling. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so wait. One of these is the sports room thing, right? And the other one is above it. So it's like maybe not in this area. Yeah, okay. Thought that might be the case. I've got this thing. Am I... Okay, so the other one... Oh, it's just a grub. Okay. I need to get rid of this so I don't... Try to come back to get it again. Oh, it wasn't meant to use fire... <laughs> I have no idea if I'm making sense, because I'm just babbling about speedruns. <laughs> it wasn't to save the grub, okay? It was just to get the grub off my map. <laughs> I did not do it to make you happy, Sura. Let's, let's get this straight. Okay. Um... And go kill Markov. Oh. There were a few times we called truce. <laughs> I missed that message. Valid. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oops. One-shotting primal aspids is so nice. Triple jump. <laughs> okay. I have triple jump and two air dashes. <laughs> That's very balanced. Don't worry about it. I may as well kill Hornet while I'm here. Oh, hey, Primer. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot for the support. We got a checkmark person in chat. Trying to suggest a mod where bosses have a control scheme and are piloted by players. You know what? Oh, hey, Primacon again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, someone was working on something like that at one point, and they stopped working on it. I can only assume it was because it was too difficult. <laughs> yeah, it probably is a lot of work. It would be really cool, though. <clears throat> I know someone in the Chinese community made a mod where you can play as, like, Broken Vessel. It's not going to be synced with multiplayer, because HKMP, like, isn't coded to respond to the mod. But something like that would be pretty cool, for sure.
I just want to play Elder Who and spam pancakes. Holy shit. That is evil. <laughs> I actually want to as well now that you mention it. Oh, I missed uh, Geo Rock. Oops. I was too busy just like jumping. Uh, okay. Let's go down and get that Whispering Roots. Where the hell is this Geo Rock? Oh, it's here. I still haven't got a nail upgrade. I just, like, haven't needed it. I don't need any more damage. Oh, Monarch Wing Stoop. Ouch. Thank you, Dream Shield. God, Tuner. <laughs> Whenever the, like, full screen message pops up, I get excited. I'm like, this is the last Dreamer, for sure. And it never is. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I can go towards Colosseum. Oops. the primary YouTuber makes videos about biology and stuff. <laughs> we got quite a diverse cast of people here. It's quite nice. Daily donated five dollars. Fire, why the heck is your voice so soothing? Between that and the green path music I'm listening to, I'm on the verge of falling asleep over here. <laughs> Wait, don't fall asleep and I need you in chat. Oh wait, you're you're not a member, are you? That's okay though. No pressure. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dealist. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream in some capacity. Oh, it doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> I swung straight through the boss. Okay, that was that was quick. <laughs> oh, I missed one. I missed the Geo Rock down here, didn't I? I did not check the colos. Let me go back. I forgot. Very first video you watched with this, the Silk Song Riddles. <laughs> Those were fun videos. Geo. Geo. Soul refill. <laughs> Very useful. Okay, I'm gonna assume those leftover rocks are just, like, grubs that I skipped. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, there's one check right outside King Station. I forgot about that one. <clears throat> oh, it is, uh, an item? Or, uh, okay, never mind. Oh, I did miss... Was that a grub? Oh, man. I, I just need to start taking the grubs so they're not on the map anymore. <laughs> I'm just, like, second-guessing whether I've actually checked everything in those areas, and I want to revisit them. Because I'm going to feel dumb if there's actually something important. I did feel like I missed something here.
Where the heck is the thing that I missed? Fireborn loves scrubs. Do not do not make such statements in here. Do not spread falsehoods in my chat. Is that at the bottom? I'm so confused. Oh. It's the soul refill right here. <laughs> How did I miss that? Um, oh my god. I just need one more dreamer, right? Please don't tell me I need two. Okay, yeah. I need Lurian. Oh, resting ground crypts and crystal peaks. Those are good places to go. Uh, grounds stag. It's another ghost you can dream now? No, I got everything now. <laughs> I just missed the thing at the entrance like a dummy. Uh... Oh, I can open up... I may as well open up the spirit blade or whatever it's called while I'm here. How did I miss that chest? <laughs> did I open... Okay, I'm glad I got a soul refill from that. Otherwise, I would have had to, uh, done the Whispering Root. Do the Whispering Root? <laughs> I love this speed. It's so good. I also just want to do more HKMP infection tag. Epilepsy warning. <laughs> Jesus. Because infection tag is a lot of fun. And there's still not enough infection tag content. It would be really good for a stream as well. I would just need to get moderators in the game, provided people are willing to do that. What are you more hyped for, Silk Song or Zote Boat? Oh god. Why did, why did I even read the question from you, Lytton? <laughs> I'm like expecting a serious question. Gome journal entry. No thank you. Wow, so much lore. And it's all like the teacher's archive stuff. So many checks in Crystal Peaks. Crystal Peak, rather. I realized recently that it's Crystal Peak, not Crystal Peaks, even though literally everyone calls it Crystal Peaks. <laughs> uh, let's see what Divine has, if anything. No. Yo, thanks so much, Baku. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Fire, will you make any casual Silk Song content? Yes, I will 
100% stream it. At least like my first playthrough. And you can expect that to be done in like a day or two. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta, gotta go ham when Silk Song comes out. Mm, what am I doing? Marissa's audience. Sure, let's do that. Oh, oh yeah, I need to check the other Unbreakable Charms. Duh. So let me unequip hearts, because I think that's the one that uh, Divine was trying to trade for. Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Which OSD is better, Lace or Bone Bottom? They're both bangers. <laughs> like, how, how can you choose, honestly? Missed half the stream because of work. How's it going? It is going pretty well in terms of the rando. I'm all done with the bingo. What was this? Oh, I flipped. Can I fight Grim without doing the Grimkins? Is that a check? I hope it's not a check. I, I have to see, though. And right now I'm just trying to get the last Dreamer so I can get True Ending. Hope you're doing well, Beku. Silk Song comes out, I'm considering recording it. Unsure where to start, have an idea for a unique spin that could be fun. Okay. Sounds cool. Sweet spot, both both balloon faces. <laughs> Lucky. I used to have a kind of setup for that, but I do not remember. Fire, where did you first discover Hollow Knight? Uh, a buddy of mine told me about it, just like in March 2017 or something. Okay, so because Grimkin are not randomized, can I just do NKG right now? No. Okay. Okay, so I should definitely go to Crystal Peak, right? Mm, what should I equip? Unbreakable Heart. For nothing, <laughs> yes. Uh. Oh, there's GPZ. That's technically a check. Mm. Wait, why isn't this infected? Charms do not look whack. <laughs> they look unique.
There's so many jacks in here. Good God. I I already have my grub grub saver. <laughs> I I can't can't deny it anymore. Oops. Oh shit! What am I doing? <laughs> Part of the <laughs> Lyddon, what's with all the nonsense questions? <laughs> like these are these are all enemies that you kill. We're not in any of those gangs, except for Void, I suppose. So, like, I guess the obvious answer is just the Void gang, right? I guess you don't kill Pale King either, but he is kind of like an antagonist. Like, by definition, if you're playing as the Hollow Knight, you are a Void Gang, right? Wait, Fluke Nest is Grubs with the skin? I, I honestly didn't even notice. Because I have been randomly getting Fluke Nest from the Chaos Orb, but... <laughs> pale... We've got a Pale King Apologizer in chat. That dude filled his house with saw blades. It's not not the brightest. Horizontal dive. Oops. Did I get that? When the heck did I get that? Just now? go to the peak here, then I'm gonna... Oops. Oh, a snail soul. Sure. Snail soul for one is pretty, pretty damn good. Although I'm just leaving the screen right now. I'm already kind of committed to the nail build, so I think I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> I was hoping it would hit me out of the animation. Oh, 
Oh, I missed the soul totem? What? <laughs> oh, it's that. Okay. <laughs> Your moss tribe because they're fluffy? Interesting. Or, uh, moth tribe. Did I say moss? What's your percent at? God, it's got to be getting pretty high. 70%. That's pretty high for a rando. Come on, Lurian. Oh. <laughs> nice. Just gotta ask nicely. <laughs> Hollow Knight OC is a moth who follows the radiance. <laughs> Valid. Lurian got tired of a sour. That's like a really appropriate place for Lurian, isn't it? Childs. Two grim children. Good. That was a good THK fight. Gang or Hera Gang? Hmm. How do you how do you even make that choice? <laughs> I need Lytton to like. Need to commission Lytton to make all the m meme polls for my channel. Someone who can truly resonate with like the HK memes crowd. <laughs> Damn, went to ham there. <laughs> okay, and of course, we gotta do this. Don't hit me. Oh, come on. Hey, stop it. Yeah, well, I have deep focus because it costs nothing. Because I have randomized charm notch costs, deep focus was totally free. And quick focus was one, so that ended up being a pretty good combo. How do y'all know the lore? Hera is cool and Monomon's a nerd? What? I guess Monomon's the teacher. Alrighty. It's, <laughs> did it take longer to get the dreamers than it took to do the bingo? Because I think I finished the bingo like two hours ago. So it's pretty close actually. Took a little bit longer to do the bingo. Oh, 
Well, I'm finishing at a pretty good time. I can still, like, cook lunch for myself before my plans. Mm, my back hurts, though. <laughs> By the time you got here, the bingo was over. <laughs> The bingo was a lot easier than I expected, like, it doesn't live up to the roguelike name in terms of uh, difficulty. You'd expect roguelike to be difficult. When's the next stream so I can ask more questions? Um, yeah, Tuesdays are my normal stream time. Join me on uh, Tuesday. <clears throat> Time to stretch and get some hot presses. Yeah, that's a good idea. Guess I'll go work on the piano book now. Good luck with that, Matilda. Yeah, I'll probably do another stream next Sunday. I don't have any other, like, streams planned in between then. I do want to do a Sabathon stream at some point, but it might take a bit of prep work. Ideally, next Sunday, I'll do HKMP Infection Tag. But I can't promise that, because it does require a bit of setup before I can like host it myself. Tuesday? No, Sunday. <laughs> It'll be next Sunday at the same time, probably 10 a.m. Uh, Central. Thanks, Cinders. So I want to do a public game. It does require like a bit to set up. Um, usually it's just like drag and dropping files and then you open the game up. But uh, if I do host a public infection tag game, I'll also make a guide accompanying it. Donated $5.10. Just started studying CS, was amazed to ask a fellow freshie if he knew about Fireborn that he actually was in the top 10 any percent leaderboard. <laughs> what? The person you talk to is top 10? I know one person who studies computer science. I mean, actually, might be multiple people. There's a lot of speedrunners who do computer science. It's like the number one uh, choice of studies, I guess. But yeah, thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Uh, Colette is streaming. Oh, Archipelago. So Hollow Knight Archipelago is a really cool mod where it's like a multi-world randomizer, so different people's games can send items into your world, and you send items into their world. But with Archipelago, you're all playing different games. So one person's playing Hollow Knight, someone else can play be playing, like, some... I forgot what the other games are. I think there's, like, Link to the Past and Super Metroid and stuff like that. So it's a really cool mod. So... Uh, go watch Colette. It's going to be a lot of fun, especially if you're into randomizer content. I will... Hello, Freshie. Is a CS Freshie? That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, Nicholas, by the way, for the uh, donations. It's really cool. Hope you can uh, be friends with this person. <laughs> Nicholas Limstrom donated five dollars and ten cents. Yeah, the fellow freshie is a CS freshie. We are finished. BTW smile. Oh, the stream's not actually going to be on Tuesday. It's going to be on Sunday. I was just trolling Litten a little bit. Streams are always, usually Sunday. But yeah, go watch Colette, everyone. Hope you all have a really wonderful day. Really appreciate all the support. And yeah, later. <laughs>